Okay, looks like we are live here. I'm not even going to play any intro music or anything today. We're just going to get right into it. Make sure my tracking is working everything. Hang on, let me just recalibrate real quick. Because my mouth tracking isn't looking good for some reason. But... Alright, hopefully that works here. Okay, so... Yeah, we're just going to play for a couple hours today. Don't really have any huge plans for the stream. We're just chilling, kind of. Um, I think mostly what I'm going to be doing is just... We're just going to be trying to level up characters as much as we can here. I have a bunch of extra Trailblaze power left over, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, just kind of chill. Um, probably do, like, some of my weekly stuff, because, yeah, that needs to happen tonight. Or at least by tomorrow. Probably do the, some Divergent Simulated Universe runs. And then uh, see if we can re-challenge Krakolia here, because it's part of the sponsorship and I can get a little extra money, Because so why not, of course. Oh, by the way, my hand tracking. I had it working last night, but it's fucking broken again, I guess, for some reason, so nothing. But yeah, so I've re-challenged her a bunch of times already, you know, for the farm materials and stuff, but I still haven't beaten her... Ah, whore. <laughs> Jeez. I still haven't beaten her difficulty level 5. So, we're going to try to do that at the very least today. If not today, hopefully the next couple days. We'll see. So, we're just kind of just kind of doing general housekeeping for the day. We'll try to do that boss fight. And then, uh, <clears throat> I'll probably try to wrap up a couple events that are still ongoing. And that might be about it. I think that might take us... Well, we'll see how long it takes us. And then, I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. I might play more story of this game. Or, um, I might even, I might even hop into a different game. I really want to start, like, some longer form sort of games. Like, um, I really want to, I think I really want to start playing the whole Yakuza series, so, which will be plenty of goddamn content for the foreseeable future if I do decide that. Because those are very long games that I've really been, been meaning to get into. So, yeah, I do have these two events I can still do, and... I can even do this, but I'm probably going to save this till a while here. I'll probably do that like last out of all the events that I still have to do. Oh, and I still... <laughs> By the way, I've still never completed Camping in the Snow or Nether Puppet, I don't think. And those are old events, but like... I don't really use it, either of these characters anymore, so it hasn't been really a huge priority. Oh, and this one. Did I not finish this one? I guess I'll... Yeah, try to finish this one later, too. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Or did I? Because I got my light cone rewards. I got all that complete. I guess maybe I did complete it. And that's why it's at the bottom. I wonder if there's anything else I can get from it, though. Maybe we'll check it. Um, definitely need to do this. And I might as well check this real quick, because I think it's just from... Yeah, like the assignments here. Um, let's, might as well claim all these and redispatch, because we'll see. Okay. And then... Yeah, what else does this want from me here? So I need to just com keep doing all of these? Yeah, I guess so. I thought I had enough here. So we'll just keep sending out dudes, I guess. That. That. I don't know if I should be really reading, like, all the lore behind this. Hmm. Yeah, Paper World University is currently covering requires the utmost security. Presently, it needs a great deal of manpower to monitor all suspicious activities conducted by outside personnel. So... Yeah, that should work, right? Um, what's it like to sing in a course with a few hundred fellow fans? Robin fans, where are you at? It's time to assemble. I don't really get what's going on with this event. I say they're like searching for Boot Hill or something. I guess maybe this is how you get like info on where you might be. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's time to assemble. The inspiration for this comes from that party earlier. I was standing next to a strange cowboy. 
Sorry, but we got along pretty well. Maybe he's also a fan of Robin. Sorry, and if there's any chatters in there, let me know how my audio sounds. I feel like it might be a little quiet today, or maybe I'm just talking quietly. I'm a little low energy lately. Maybe he's also a fan of Robin. Henry, resident of Dreamflux Reef. I feel like I still need to adjust my mouth settings. I need to go through that later. But anyway, we need to clear out the monad contaminants affecting the daily studies undertaken by our students and improve their learning quality. Oh, we should probably dispatch people to this one. We need to clear out the memetic contaminants affect memetic if I remember that is. Yeah, like memory stuff affecting the daily studies undertaken by our students and improve their learning quality. Look how many young lives you ruined with that cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions thing. They don't even want to study anymore. All they want now is to become ninjas. Yeah, good for them. Good for them. Okay, so that's all those. And that just kind of goes over time. So I'll need two more after that. Okay. Anyway, let's just get some characters kind of leveled up here. Now, this is my main team, this quick one I have. I really want to level Fei Xiao and March more, but if I'm going to be beating... Um, difficulty 4, Kakolia today. I'm going to need these characters to be a bit better. I think this is a big one, is upgrading my relics. So let's just maybe go through those real quick. Do -do -do. I know this is kind of kind of boring, but... It is what it is. Also, I'm gonna my game audio is a little low. I might actually need to turn that up a little bit. It looks like it's okay on the output, but it seems a little quiet to me. Um, yeah, let's go like there maybe. Oh, what's going on here? Friend request. I accept all of them, dude. I'm accepting all of them. Sweet. I always love getting that. It's cool to see people, like, using my characters. Okay. Back to this here. And then I have no doubt I'm going to run out of upgrade materials. Yep. There it is already. Alright. Well, that's what we got. Um... I'm wondering if I should be farming trace materials, or I could even do, like, relic materials, or just relics. Yeah, I wonder if I could get better, um, some better gear for Trailblazer here. That'd be good, because everyone else is pretty decked out except for her. Maybe I'll look into that real quick. Um... Ornament? No. Not quite what I'm looking for. Although, no, I already have the shit Moe's needs, I think. Don't I? Ascension relics. Um, yeah, we could, we could try to do this, actually. Because she could use that gear. I haven't actually looked at the relics for my teams in a while, so maybe we'll just kind of focus on that. Man, how is my current team underpowered? Anyway. Oh, wait. don't Can't you get relics from Simulated Universe, too? Maybe I'll do that, because I need to do a run anyway, and I have, like, plenty of immersion. Um. Huh. Yeah, I think I'll do this real quick, because I still need to do it anyway. And I haven't even gotten that far in um, in the freaking simulated universe yet. Yeah, like how do I just unlock the next worlds here? Clearing the trails. Oh, clearing world five. 
Okay, let's see here. Yeah, immersion rewards. Those aren't relics, though. These are all... Well, they are relics, but they're not the ones I'm looking for, right? Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna do... We're just gonna do that other stuff, I guess. Do I want anything from here? Ooh. I'm not I'm probably not gonna blow my load on any of these light cones yet. But I bet there's one I'm I could actually use at some point. Anyway, um yeah, let's just do Cause I need to spend my trailblaze power, so let's do this first, I guess. We do relics. Do this one. So if I can get the shoes and other part I needed. Let's do it. Oh, I wonder if I... Well, nah. Hmm. Let me see if I can use this team. Yeah, maybe I'll try with this team, because I've been using my Firefly team a lot. It's, it's a little boring. I want to use my newer teams. Let's give it a try here. Seems like their voices are a little quiet. I might turn the music down a touch and then turn up the volume. Let's see how that sounds. It's on me. Some value the dice I have been cast. Bust. Bust? We or busted. Maybe I'll take it off. Now that volume is probably a bit better. Ugh, see, thing is. Yeah, maybe I should have saved Fish House skill point there to get Ron Mace buff up first. Maybe. Enjoying yourself? We're probably okay though. <laughs> Having a Venturine's buff is the most important thing. You'll really. make good practice. Mm. Time to show you what I can Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! Let's see. There we go. Now the team's starting to kind of flow. Head your bets. Now we have shields, so we're good there. I bet your fourth time. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. <laughs> Did my shit out of order. That's okay. Now this. You need to get stronger. Every petal in life all will be swept away by the wind. Yeah, I really want to be using this team just because I think Feisha is cool as shit, and March is just like really cool and cute at the same time. Like she's great. Fangs and claws got dull. To imaginary. Okay. Show me what you can do. Maybe I should be killing the odds first. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we can do this. One of buffs still up for a while. You, I suppose. Yeah, maybe I should be killing these dogs first. Cause then they'll do AoE damage, right? Don't they? Enjoying yourself? I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant! Victory in the She fucking wrecked that one. <laughs> Maybe I will upgrade this team instead. I don't know. <laughs> Victory is inevitable. 
these. If I, up, if I get all the relics upgraded, I can kind of switch them around as needed, right? Like, if I just get each set fully upgraded, then... Like... You know, I can switch them around as other sure, characters I'll play need. Spend freely. The dice have been cast. Bust. Bust? Or maybe I'll take it all. Watch your head. Adventuring is pretty fucking cool, though. I think everyone agrees with that. Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. The fearless knows not fear. Awesome! Oh, never mind. There we go. Now that was not too bad. Didn't get the god dang shoes, though. Oh, I'd want them to be... Hang on. This is not the best way to farm this, I don't think. Because that only dropped one yellow item. Like That's going to take fucking forever. Is there a better way to do this? Um, Who's I upgrading? Trailblazer? Okay, so we got... We actually do have this one. Oh, we fucking do have them. What the heck am I doing? I guess maybe I will farm that to try to keep leveling stuff. Shoot, it really is hard to decide what I want to level it. So let's see what similarities we have here. So we could use these too. Ugh. And these. Yeah, I should be farming these instead. No, she's pretty decked out right here, though. Maybe I will just focus on trying to get them upgraded. And if I get lucky, then we'll have the parts I need. Or, like, the upgrades. So, Firefly has hers. She has hers. He has hers. And Rome has hers. I don't know. I guess I'm just deciding which team I want to upgrade. I guess r having Ron May fully upgraded is probably like the best thing because I use her on a lot of teams. Like she fits in pretty much anywhere. I think Gallagher's. Well, he could maybe use upgrades too. Maybe I'll focus on getting Ron May's stuff upgraded a bit. Maybe we'll just do that. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can actually beat this. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it. If I can't beat it, no problem. I just want to see if I can. Use her ability card. first, idiot. I could just set this to like auto farm, but especially if I'm streaming, I don't really like to do that. I like to actually try to play the game a little bit, you know. Uh, let's get Ron May's buff up first. Eternal. Let me shield up later. You need to get stronger. Every petal in love. This might actually be rough without any heals. I'm gonna have to have adventuring really do some work here, probably. Let's kill the dog first. Fangs and claws got dull. I venture forth. Oh, well, that went better than I thought. It's gonna be overkill. Probably, yeah. <laughs> This team does put out pretty good damage, though. Spend freely. There's more to life. <laughs> Time to show you Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this. Excuse me. I've had a little bit of a scratchy throat lately, some reason. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but awesome. I think that'll work. 
Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure I'll play along. Can you even shield up again me. a little bit? Because why not? You might need it. Watch your head. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant! Value, I suppose. I could take ten of you. Might as well kill the ads. I feel like that usually goes a long way in this game, actually. You know, like Marsh and Seisha actually do really pretty do. freaking good damage. I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant! Victory is inevitable. Um, I guess uh, I could have shielded up there. The but dice have been right. cast. You or bust him a bunch of it off. You bust the doctor with her. Yeah, Doctor Ratio, I'm sure, right? That's like a huge ship in the, in the community. Doctor, you're huge. Stay away. Doctor, you're huge. Hang on. <laughs> Try one other thing here. My expressions aren't working. For some reason. There we go. Right. Doctor, you're huge. <laughs> Alright. What's my other one here? Oops. Hang on. What? Okay. This expression's like, maybe I'll use this expression more often. It's a little more happy. Well, actually, I don't want to look too happy. I like my neutral one most of the time. Alright, anyway. I'm just kind of fucking around with stuff. <laughs> Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. Man, it's kind of lame. I have to like tab over to Wardo and freaking expressions. Thing. I need to. For some reason, all my Wardo settings have got like fucked up somehow. I've had to like reset a bunch of shit. My hand tracking isn't working, even though I had it working last night. And my expressions don't work unless I tab over to it. It's like it's being a whole pain in the pain in the dick hole. It's on me. <laughs> Every petal in life all will be swept away by the wind. I guess it's not that bad. Like I can, I can make it easy to just click over to it, but it's still kind of freaking annoying. Anyway. I venture forth to forever. Triumphant! Church. Yeah, team is underpowered my ass. That was nothing. <sighs> okay. So I actually want to be doing a different one. I kind of messed up there. Which one is it? Face Shouts is this one, right? Ash Blaze and Grand Duke. Character's best suited. Uh, hang on. Let me double check. I've been a little bit low energy the last couple days. I have some caffeine I might slam a little bit of, but, um... I don't know, I'm having a hard time, like, keeping my brain together. Yeah, Ash Blaze and Grand Duke is what she wants. <laughs> Oh, I know why it's looking because I don't have her... This is like her second best relic set. I don't have her best one even unlocked yet. I can't even get it. There's always so much stuff to do in this game. I'm like, I haven't even tried to advance the story in like fucking forever. Wait, what does this say? There we go. That's an easy way to do it. See, I might just blow, like, all my fucking Trailblaze power that I have stocked up and just try to get 
couple teams leveled up as much as fucking possible. <laughs> All right, we should heal up real quick. Though. Oh, also, I just love this fucking area. This is like maybe my favorite area in the game so far, is the Fixtral Gardens. Like, this place is so cool. And speaking of this place, I haven't even finished that um, Trailblaze Continuance yet either, because I haven't been able to beat the fucking boss at the end. The, like, Corrupted Fu Shuang, whatever her name is. What's my phone saying? Oh, let's do these real quick. Might as well. Oh, I haven't even checked if I have any polls today. Or yesterday. Not too shabby. Let's see if I have enough for a warp or two. Yeah. So I got the boy already. And I have nine days still to get adventuring. I, or not adventuring. Akron. I think we can do it. I think we can get- I've had pretty damn good luck. I think I've spent five dollars on this game out of desperation, and I got- I think that was to get Sparkle, and I got her on like my last pull. I've been- I've had pretty good luck. I just hope it doesn't run out anytime soon. <laughs> okay, they said before my team was underpowered, but it seemed fine, so- oh boy. Let me double check that though, because these guys have different weaknesses. Enjoying yourself, ready to shine. Uh, some of these guys have wind weaknesses, and they have imaginary. I think we can do this, nice hopefully. Time to show you what I can really do. Yeah, definitely take these fools out first. Those are the ones that'll kill you, the fire breathing robots. Like, yeah, that one. Um, let's save skill point for now. I hit the mark. Spend up. Eternal. Ugh. I could take ten of you. Yeah, this thing needs to die. First. I venture forth to like, immediately. Head your bets. It's on me. <laughs> the dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. The fearless knows not fear. <laughs> Too slow. Awesome. That doesn't like nuke her too much. Ron May can be pretty squishy. Yeah, it's a little scurry. Every petal of all will be swept away by the wind. Uh, I feel like I really need the shields. Okay, not bad. 
Just do this. I hit the mark. Spend freely. I'm trying to really stack up the shields just because some of my characters are kinda low, especially the ones that are on the squishy Bust. side. Or maybe I'll take it off. I could take ten of you. Component damage. Component damage. Eternal. Do this. Fangs and claws got dull. Uh, yeah, I can do this. Oh, man. I was trying to get the ultimate in before they were coming. I bet you're forth to hunt. That's it. Watch your head. Okay, we should be smooth sailing from here on out, hopefully. I don't think these guys do too much. Watch as I speak too soon and they kick my ass somehow. Enjoy your side. your bets. It's on me. There's more to life. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Never hesitate. All right, not bad, not bad. Ugh, nothing. All right, should probably go heal up first. Yeah, I don't want to do Equilibrium yet. I, st I still need to do, like, a bunch of story left over and crap. Like, a bunch of bunch. Alright, maybe for the sake of speed and just farming here, maybe I will switch over to my, like, main team while I'm just actually just farming stuff. And, uh, we can just kind of auto-battle and maybe just just yap for a bit. I might even just like turn on another stream in the background and hang out for a sec. There's no one in the chat or anything right now, so kind of just hang out while the game does its thing. That is a nice thing about this game for stream is that like a lot of it is voice, so I don't have to do too much yapping, like reading stuff. And if I want for a little bit, I can set it to just kind of like auto farm. Um, yeah. Let's see if I... I mean, I know I didn't, but... Yeah, we need her boots and gloves. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't think I'll even need to, like, pre-buff with this team. Her team's underpowered. Bullshit, dude. If my other team was underpowered and did fine, then this team will be fine as well, I think. What I might actually do, too, is... <laughs> I might even make it a little easier on myself. We'll use a support character. Yeah, call me a scrub. Call me a trying to play easy mode, but <laughs> so it's come you. On. Can't spend all day doing the farming stuff in this game, you know. All right, I actually have keys to the restroom as well, so we're gonna just let this do its thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Dreams do come true. Eternal. Still waters of oblivion. Let me actually just put that in the chat. I weep for the department. So, what the heck is this guy doing? It too shall fall. Enjoying yourself? Just enough for oblivion. All will be swept away by the wind. Confidence. Oh shit, maybe this team is a little underpowered. How's this take? We'll see. Friends? That's what Gallagher's here for, is to keep people alive. Okay, not bad. That was definitely like a faster clear. I think we'll be fine to do another one. Let the show begin! Time to mix things up. 
about like healing in between. Again. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Again. Stay away. Still waters of oblivion. Still the same old. How's this take? By the temple. Surrender. All will be swept away by the wind. My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Let the show begin! Just for oblivion. It ain't over. Unscathed. Again? Ah, like the compass. This press. Oh, catch up. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay, now I probably want to heal up a little bit in between. Just a bit here. And we're just going to keep farming away for a little bit. Really want to get the fucking relics for Fei Shao, please. Um. Yeah, dude. I might as well just like blow blow my whole load here. <laughs> so. It's <laughs> Dreams do come true. Eternal. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Let the show begin. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves! Oh, yeah, let me actually turn this down a little bit. It's a bit loud just to be farming materials and relics here, so I'm gonna have to F this open. Oh, that's actually good to know that you can't see this on the OBS. Well, actually, a little bit loud. Little bit loud. Come true. <laughs> still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. How's this take? Let's just keep fucking farming away. Hope I get a chatter at some here. It's kind of boring, guys. Come on. Get in here. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Just death for oblivion. My friends, indulge yourselves! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Unscathed. Enjoying yourself? The press. Time to mix things up. Still waters of oblivion. Enjoying yourself. We will come. Oh shit! What the hell happened? I wasn't paying attention. We should be okay, I think. Rumme sometimes gets pretty squish, and if like she gets real targeted, she'll just get fucking wiped out. Man, nothing I want is dropping here. <laughs> so 
it's you. Step up, let's see ya. Let the show begin. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves. Let's <sighs> improvise. <sighs> 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 Yeah, I don't know why I've been, like, particularly sleepy last few days. I slept totally great last night, but I've just been, like, kind of low energy. It might be a seasonal thing, I don't know. Again. Dreams do come true. Still the same old. Surrender. My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves! Still waters of oblivion. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. All will be swept away by the wind. Just for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Seriously, why is the only yellow things dropping these fucking ones? Holy shit, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Existence is unity. Yeah, I don't know why my fucking hand tracking doesn't work. It'd be really nice. I'm a lot more emotive if I have it. I wait for the departed. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It was working last night when I was testing trying to fix everything. Let the show begin. But nope. Fucking nothing still. Again. For oblivion. How's this take? My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves! Enjoying yourself, surrender. Again. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. Yeah, like it just gets stuck on loading all the time. Even, even if I restart Warda a couple times, do like everything, it still just doesn't want to fucking work. And I don't, I don't always want to restart my whole damn computer over and over just to try to get one damn thing to work. It's a real pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, how's my health doing? Oh, I didn't even Did check I if I got what I wanted. Yeah, we're retreat. We gotta heal. Um, I'm gonna, I'll check real quick too if I got any of the drops I want. I fucking doubt it. What was it? These two? Nope. Nopers. Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Just for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Again. Suppress. By the ten more. Still waters of oblivion. Again. How's this taste? My friend. 
friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! <laughs> Bow to just enjoying yourself. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. God damn it, still nothing. Or wait, no, I got gloves, sick. Okay, that's one of the things I wanted. Let's just equip that real quick and might as well heal up. Do, do, gloves, finally, something good. Oh, I got, never mind, I got one? Okay. Uh. No, I wanna, I wanna switch. Switch. There we go. Okay, now we just want the boots for her, and I think pretty much everybody else has all the gear they want. Except for Boot Hill, but Boot Hill's kind of... He's just not that good anymore, if I'm being honest, unfortunately. Still love the guy, but... Mm, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Of course, yeah, and March is pretty decked out, too. Alright, these are both yellow. Okay. So I just want whore. Ah, whore. Can't fucking talk today. I just want her boots now. I could maybe be doing this in the simulate. Well. I don't know. This probably is the best way to get the relics, honestly. Especially, well, maybe not. So it's you. I think sometimes you get like double time spent with one another. chance to get drops occasionally, but I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I want it now. Let the show begin. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Again. Come on, boots. Nope. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Yeah, thanks for letting me know, game. So it's like a little difficult, but you know, nothing the team can't just clean up. Please? Okay, that was weird. It's like lagging for a second. Probably just like internet connection Dreams thing. Come true. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Let's improvise. Yourself? 
still waters of a plane. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Why is it like stuttering? Let's see if it gets better. Uh, <sighs> still no boots. Let's improvise. Didn't even check the help. Should be talking. Let's begin. Eternal. All will be swept away by the wind. Destiny for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fucking boots. We go again. Let's improvise. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Let the show begin. Bought a Zippo hand warmer. It's actually pretty fucking so. sick. Like, you just fill it with lighter fluid and like hold a flame to it for a second, and like it has like a catalytic burner that uh, so it burns like slow enough to make a flame, but it still like warms up. It's like really fucking nice. Especially because the one I got, it uh. It's like the six hour model, they say, yeah, it should burn for six hours, but it might burn for longer or shorter, depending on conditions, I'm like. I swear to god, sometimes this thing lasts for like 12 hours. All will be swept it's like away by nice the and warm, just keep it in your pocket. It's pretty fucking cool. I just keep it on my desk or in like a yeah, shirt pocket a lot of time. It's like a personal little heater. I weep for the department. It's really fucking nice, and it's only like 15 bucks on Amazon. Of course, you need like the lighter fluid for it too, but, which is kind of expensive, but like, that should have lasted forever. Doesn't take much lighter for it to get it working, you know? Hey, boots! Hey, finally! Hell yeah, let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay, and then we'll see what. Um, I guess just one ones we can level up. Might even just keep grinding for, uh, for just more materials, you know? Wait, isn't there a way you can, like, dismantle, um, well, I think it actually does it automatically if you go to, like, enhance. Alright, so what do we, what do I want to upgrade here, I guess? Let me do this first real quick. Let's see. Um, 
Yeah, how are traces doing? I wonder which is more important, traces or relics? Probably traces, but trace materials are harder to get. Maybe I'll upgrade as much as I can here and then do some traces. I don't know. It's just really hard to decide what um, characters I want to actually upgrade. So she's almost fully upgraded, actually. And Firefly's already fully upgraded. I might as well... Well, I don't need... I don't necessarily need two fully maxed carries. Um... You know, I bet Aventurine is actually a little bit... Well, I don't know. Gallagher's pretty good. Yeah, I think I want to upgrade Ron, mate. Because she's on pretty much all my main teams. So, and this is a pretty good set to have enhanced anyway. So, let's just see what we can do. I should have a decent amount of shit to enhance here. Maybe. Maybe. Might be already running low. Yep, we're already out. Okay, um... I guess we'll go for some traces here. Let me pull up um, Ron May's recommended trace path. Should be, yeah, over here. It's also a pretty cool thing about this game is even built into the game, it tells you like what their good builds are and what to do and stuff. It's pretty sick. Like, who needs to look up a guide? They have guides built into the goddamn game. Alright, so this first, I... Yeah, we can get some of these. Ooh, and I have double rewards still for this. Awesome. Yeah, let's do that. For sure. So I want to upgrade the ultimate, then the skill. That's pretty much it. Current team is underpowered. Bullshit it is. I'm gonna call in Acheron again. <laughs> so it's you. Yeah, I'm Our time spent kind of wondering is precious. which would be better if it would be better to upgrade Gallagher or Aventurine first. Because Gallagher is better for heals, but Aventurine is like kind of better overall. I don't know. Hey, uh, hey Gene TVT6. Hi. What's up? I'm doing great today. I hope you are also having a great day. Well, I'm doing great. I've been a little low energy the last couple of days for some reason, but other than that, I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well as well. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the first time chat. Not to beg, but maybe throw a follow. Eh? Just sent doing great. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm just doing a just doing a bit of farming right now. Honestly, just like Auto battling. Begin. Trying to just get materials to level up some characters. Uh, just having a chill day. How often do I stream? Um, not as often as I would like, honestly. Um, I'd like to stream like four days a week. In reality, I probably only do like two or three days a week. Let's improvise. I really need to get like a, a good schedule All in place. Be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Shit, if I could do at least five days a week, that'd be even better. Yeah. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. Yeah, and I usually try to scream. Around like one, like yeah, it would be two p.m. Central Time. But uh, I was running a little late Let's today. Improvise. But it's a weekend, so I can Eternal. I can go a little bit later into the night. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> My friends, 
<laughs> Indulge yourselves! <laughs> All will be swept away by the wind. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it takes a fall. Dreams do come yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Let the show through. begin. I think that's great. <laughs> I was recently watching another guy who streams full time and I'm a fan of, and uh, he got asked a question What's the hardest thing about streaming? And his answer was just actually getting yourself to just actually get up and stream. And I'm like, yep, that's exactly it. A lot of times you're like, oh, it's too late in the night already, or I don't feel like it. I'm like, dude, I just need to, okay. Even if I don't feel like it, probably just should. And, uh, just wake my ass up early in the day when I can actually do it. Dreams do come true. I really want to do it more. Let the show begin. It's like whenever I do, I'm like, that was fun. I had a great time doing it. I don't know why I don't do it more. You just have to just hit the live button and then, you know, you have a fun time. Okay, what did I get out of that? Let's see. Um, probably want to keep those actually. Okay, not bad. I think that actually. Ah, oh, I thought that got me what I needed. Need two more. All right. Um, team's fine on health. Current team is underpowered. My ass. We did just fine. I am using <laughs> so another person's support character. That's kind of OP to be fair. But nothing wrong with that. It's in the game. Step up, let's see ya. <laughs> let's improvise. Eternal. <sighs> All will be swept away by the wind. And normally I have hand tracking, but for some reason I haven't been able to get it work to work consistently lately. Usually I'm a bit more expressive about it, but I don't know. I had it working last night, no problem. Man, put it up today, can't get it to work. I don't feel like restarting my computer right this second, so have to have to suffice without it, I guess. Try to get it working again later. Still I still have to do it. I still have to do like a bunch of shit with my model, honestly. It's kind of. I weep for the department. I don't know. There's still some, some scuff, some scuff stuff about it. My friends. Hopefully, I can pay someone else to make it for me eventually. But for now, I uh, made this guy myself. Let the show begin. Existence is unity. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> Let's improvise. <laughs> All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. Let the show begin. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves. <laughs> Still waters of oblivion. Again. <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> Eternal. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Alright, that's all my double rewards for the day, I guess. Not bad. I mean, I actually appreciate they're doing that, because that's shit you do every single day anyway. Okay. What did I, I should have enough to upgrade at least a fucking trace here, right? 
Oh, absolutely. I only need one for right now, so I'll kind of save it. Yeah, I should have just made them all. I'm sure I'm going to need more. Okay, so ultimate for her is maxed. And then, which was it next? Skill. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, so I'm going to need more anyway. Can I even get one of these? Nope, not until not until tomorrow night. Um, can't get that one. I don't think I can get this one. Oh, I can actually do this one. But who cares about that skill? I guess I might as well do it anyway. And yeah, I could do I could do this one. BCW make graphic stuff. So that's my work. Um, you know what? Why not? If you want to send me a DM, DM here on Twitch, I'll take a look. Sure. I'm kind of broke at the moment, but yeah, if I ever want some like graphics work, I will definitely consider it. It never hurts to have plenty of um. <laughs> never hurts to know so plenty of people you. that can do that kind of stuff. Our you know. Uh, Discord, yes. But honestly, it's easier to just do it on Twitch. If you send me your Discord name on Twitch, then I will add you on Discord. I don't always remember my Discord info. I think it's just the same as what I have on Twitch here, but... Gonna keep going? <laughs> Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. Existence is unity. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Let's improvise. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Let the show begin. Dreams do come true. Destined for oblivion. Let's improvise. Eternal. On the still waters of oblivion. Ooh. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. <laughs> All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Let's improvise. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. I was gonna see what materials I have choices, but I guarantee I'm gonna need a bunch more anyway, so I'm just gonna keep running it for a bit. We're just gonna keep farming. Let the show begin. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My friends? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Jane. I can, uh, I can do that after stream here. Still waters of oblivion. Sounds good to me. Dreams do come true. Yes. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> Let's improvise. Let the show begin. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My friends? Was it Janet? Sorry. I can't it. Probably Janet, right? Yeah. Dreams do come true. Eternal. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. Existence is unified. Still waters of oblivion. Run it again, team. Let's improvise. Eternal. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves. <laughs> Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> All right, Janet. I sent you a friend request. <laughs> Dreams do come true. I said I was gonna do it after, but I was like, oh, I have time right now. Away I can do it. By the wind. Oblivion. <laughs> Let's improvise. Let the show begin. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Existence is unity. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Let's improvise. Let the show begin. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> Dreams do come true. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Let's improvise. Let the show begin. Eternal. Still waters of oblivion. All right. I'm about to piss my pants, so I was going to wait for that one to finish. We're going to do one more run. That should be just enough time for me to go pee. Give me just a second. I will be right back. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Existence is unity. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> Let's improvise. All will be swept away by the wind. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. My friends? 
Indulge yourselves! Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Let's improvise. Eternal. On the still waters of oblivion. Let the show begin. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Dreams do come true. All will be swept away by the wind. On the still waters of oblivion. Let's improvise. Excuse me, goodness. Didn't use my mic there. Excuse me. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, hold up. Let me open my eyes. Wake the fuck up! Ugh. Get all settled in again. Jesus. Okay. Traces. Uh... These are always good to have upgraded. Yeah, let's see. Dude, fuck it. Just might as well synthesize everything to the purple stage. Like, that's all you really need. Boom. And then, yeah, what's like the easiest way to get these, I guess? I don't know if I want to do that. Simulated universe things. That's not, I feel like that's not a great way to farm stuff. Although I have to do one of those runs anyway, so maybe I will. Oh, okay, this we can fucking do. You get that shit from just sending people out on missions anyway, right? Just make like 30 of these motherfuckers. Now, something I might run into is running out of freaking credits at this point, honestly. <laughs> Alright. Good ones to have here. And we just need a couple more of these. Fall. 
Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. <laughs> Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Let's improvise. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! <laughs> Dreams do come true. I weep for the departed. It is my fault. Let the show begin. Let's improvise. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. waters of oblivion. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> it is a fall. <laughs> My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Let the show begin! It ain't over. <laughs> Dreams do come true. For oblivion. Might as well do a couple more. I'm sure, we're gonna get more mats in there. Let's improvise. You turn off. You got to prison this game. Still waters of oblivion. Um, I weep for yeah. the part. X MMO yeah. attitude. Uh, this also scratches the same itch of just running fucking dailies. I spent a goddamn hour and a half just farming the daily shit I need to do. Not even actually playing the game, just farming. SMH. SMH. And I've been thinking about getting back into WoW, I've been thinking about playing hardcore, now that Fresh is out, and I'm like, nope. Nope, don't do it, man. You must resist. You must resist. It's been a real Friends. temptation. Indulge yourselves! Let's improvise. Existence is unity. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. Let the show begin. <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> All will be swept away by the wind. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Let's improvise. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My friends? Indulge yourselves! Let the show begin! It ain't over. Dreams do come true. Eternal. On the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Let's improvise. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I feel like I just want to upgrade this one. Okay, is there anything else I really want to upgrade here? I guess I might as well upgrade this, because why the fuck not?
Well, and actually, so that might you. not be a bad idea to upgrade um, Ronmei's basic attack, because she actually uses it a lot. It's like her buff lasts for three turns, so that's the only thing she really does is auto, auto attack. So, like, you know, that's just extra chip damage, which can go a long way. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Let's improvise. The still waters of oblivion. Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. <laughs> Let's improvise. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Eternal. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Let the show begin! <laughs> My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Let's improvise. All will be swept away by the wind. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. <laughs> Destined for oblivion. Still the same old. <sighs> Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. <laughs> Existence is unity. Still waters of oblivion. Um, hmm, we might as well just do one more cycle. Why the fuck not? Never hurts to just have Let's more of resources. Eternal. I swear, I'm gonna just spend. I'm just gonna blow my load and spend all wind. my points. Just try to level the characters as much as I can right now. I weep for the departed. Um, it's just the priority of what I want to level. I'm thinking, run me. Because I use her on multiple teams already. She's just, she's kind of OP, honestly. And then I might do a venturine, honestly. I might do a venturine. Because I already have um, Firefly and and uh, Face Out pretty leveled on Trace. Trace drives. If I have the support and the sustain, it's probably a decent team there. Dreams do come true. Galaga's pretty good on too. Um, yeah, I guess it's just what I want to prioritize. <laughs> Still having a hard time deciding. Let the show begin. All will be swept away by the wind. And I've actually learned lately, you don't have to follow the meta to a T. You can build pretty good teams if you just know how to kind of balance it out. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! <laughs> For oblivion. Mm. Again. Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. <laughs> Eternal. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall.
Okay, let's see what we got here. See what we got, what we got. I was like, I might as well upgrade this now. And then I can't upgrade these until uh, Sunday night, Monday morning. And I don't even have any credits, so I don't think there's really much more I can do. Tonight. I guess I could farm credits, but we're, that's no fun. Um, yeah, now here's the thing. Do I want to do... I guess I should really upgrade Aventurine's traces if I'm going to be using him. Yeah, let's see. Um, let's look up their upgrade path. I guess I'll never shame anybody for using guides, especially in this game. Like, there's a lot going on in this game. Skill, that makes sense to level first. And yeah, I'm gonna run out. Yep, I'm already out of credits. I could upgrade these, I guess. Yeah, and thing is, do I even want to farm credits? Like, that's like the most boring thing you can do. Alright. Um, I guess I could... I guess I could farm credits. Do I want to farm credits, though, is the question. Um... Hmm. You know, I'll probably get credits from doing just... Well, I'll probably get some from doing Simulated and Divergent Universe. Yeah, let's do... Let's do those runs first, I suppose? I need to do that anyway. And then I'll probably get credits from like events and maybe Cigarette. maybe I'll do the continuance it's time for tea maybe and cakes. um we'll see and then we're going to try to rechallenge Kokolia with whatever teams we got even if it says our team is under level we're going to take her on anyway so got that team actually kind of want to try this team again for uh for Divergent Universe. I'm sure they can do it. This team isn't like a super meta lineup, but it seems to work like eventually the all the follow-ups seem to kind of flow together pretty well. They do decent damage and adventuring keeps them alive well enough, so like I don't see really any issue with it. Um I never remember which to do first. Yeah. This one. Yeah, let's download different characters this time. Let's try... What was it? A Shao, March, Ron May, Aventuring. Let's give it a shot. Oh, he's level 95. We will see. This might not actually work. <laughs> this might not actually work. We will find out. Okay, sure. Oh, sick. That's actually a, that actually looks like a pretty good start. We got some new blessings. One of them five star. So I think yeah, if we just get enough good blessings and stuff, we should be fine. Now, here's the thing. Do I want to use... Don't use any of their abilities on the first room here. Feeling Probably nice. Aventurines. Maybe Marches. Yeah, we'll keep the rest. Oh, uh, we can do this. This ability is super fucking cool. <laughs> I really like it. Just like, ah, just scoop them all up. Very cool, um, what do you call that? Skill? Technique? Alright, easy enough. <laughs> That's what you want out of a first room. 
And then I always just choose like whatever one has these little markings in the corner because that's how you get like better rewards and stuff. And honestly, it's um, it's hard to go wrong with stuff. So normally I'd go with abundance, but I don't have any abundance characters anymore. Or wait, is what path is Aventurine again? He's preservation, isn't he? Um, well, abundance is just good usually to have anyway. Choose this one. Now, which is better here? Yeah, definitely. Facial is definitely Path of the Hunt, right? Let me actually just like double check real quick. Yeah, Path is Hunt and Aventuring is, yeah, Preservation. Then the other two are <laughs> Harmony? No, she's also Hunt and Harmony. Yeah, so Hunt is really good to have on this team. Anyway, let's do, I should just go for a current. Um, might as well use some skill points here. Sound Let's see what we got. Once again, you bump into Oswaldo Schneider's Disciple at Bazaar. You can smell his greed. He reeks of sulfur as he uses wholesale mineral bottles to save costs. I'm sure I've already read this before, actually. The price difference is the fees you have to pay for the lesson, and no one can be the exception. The rule of thumb is business is to buy in business is to buy low and sell high. Master it and you will never suffer a loss in the future. He says indifferently. Yeah, I need to like adjust my mouth settings to be more reactive. Anyway, I can do that later. Now let me teach you a thing or two about consumer psychology, which involves probability theory. A jackpot with a huge prize is irresistible to most people. I guarantee that you will strike the jackpot one day. Yeah, that's what everyone thinks. Uh, I guess we do this. Okay, that's actually really good. Abundance never hurts, and we have a venturing hero on our, or a venturing character on our team. Yeah, that's pretty good. At least I think it is. You encounter a doll whose body is three times as tall as its head. A straw-like hair made of ropes and a counter on its stomach. Oh yeah, this thing. You just, it wants you to beat the shit out of it. Hit it hard. Hit it hard again. You punch Oz's doll into pieces that scatter across the ground. See, this doesn't happen every time. The other time, it um, the counter went up and I got like a bunch of shit from it. The chip embedded in the doll is activated to play a song. The destruction is crazy and the preservation is dumb. Uh, sure. All the Aeons are stubborn and Aeha's embarrassed. Aeha's embarrassed. Aeha is embarrassed. Which one is Aeha again? See, and I know there's like a ton of lore in this game that I, I don't even fucking know. And I've played the shit out of this game. Like, there's a lot of lore you could get into. Um, cool thing is, it's even built into the game if you want to look at stuff. So, like, you can go into... Oh, well, I can't do it now. Yeah, but there's, like, whole pages where you can just read up on lore if you want. I could probably spend hours just reading through that if I really wanted to. Um, actually, I want to try this, because I bet Fei Shao would be very fitting for this um, little portal here. Ow, oh, fuck you. I I hate this little idiot. God damn it. Okay, remind me not to choose adventure again. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Dude, I, I don't like any of the side quests involving this little fucker. I swear to God. Oh, 
Okay, at least we... Did I not click C? Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. A reward with no risk? I'll take it. Uh... I don't think I'm doing any dots, so we'll choose this one. Ooh, this is a hard choice now. Hunt is, is probably between these two. Every time a certain number of turns pass, his action is advanced. Okay, that's not specific though. Any after character launches an attack, there's damage taken by them. Um well, no, we'll probably do Yeah, the far right one. Cause this seems like it would the left one seems like it would interrupt the uh the sort of flow that a team is supposed to have, if you know what I mean. Yeah, what do you have to say, you little idiot? Okay. I do not like Hanu, I'm being honest. I think it's like the weakest event stuff they've ever done. Oh, the bigger the risk, the better the reward. I love these little guys, though. <laughs> I, I really do like Ron May's creations, the little, what are they called, cat cakes. They're adorable, they're very funny. I go visit them on the space station occasionally. I really do. I thought it was a very fun little side quest to like, sort of breeding. And there's like, you do like little stealth missions with Peppy. I thought that was a really fun little event. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I like Ron May. Mm -hmm. I wonder what a lot of people is. think she's psycho. She kind of is. But, um... I'm kind of on her side. I'm about, like, about scientific work a little bit. I don't know, if you know what I mean. Anyway. It's boss time. This shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. We got all our buffs and everything. Uh, game, please? Uh, game. Uh, thank you. Existence is unity. All right. Someone make sure we do the ults in order. Garden. So hers first, then March, then adventure. All will be swept away by the wind. Should be good. Time to show you what I can really do. Azure Dragon. Oh, this one's almost dead already. The dice have been cast. Or maybe we I'll bust it. it off. No dirty tricks, all right. Wow, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of wrecking this. Really Azure Dragon, White Tiger, less cards. What? The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All right. I venture for and that should hunt. spread on Maze Bolt on everything. Uh let's so we'll take Forever. these little guys out. Your fish out so fucking cool. She goes like super sound. She already has it again. Should be able to use it again right after here. Yep. <laughs> Time to show you what I can really do. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, and I have full Tiger, skill points. Dude, we got this. I venture forth to hunt. Fucking easy peasy. Forever triumphant. Victory is inevitable. Oh, I didn't even put C. Uh, no, I did. I'm like I must have. Let me double fucking check.
Did I not use Sifu? Oh, come on! March it up. I'm making sure I have your buffs here. On your own. Like, did I really not have that the whole time? Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. ultimate go like two or three times in a row <laughs> i think i saw a video of someone i don't know how they did it they did like some sort of fucking exploit but they just had facial basically doing infinite ultimates <laughs> it, was, it was pretty fucking sick okay so we probably want probably want the hunt i guess and we'll choose this one and again go for the ones i haven't gotten before I don't even care really what they do. I just want the reward for collecting them. And uh, I have to kind of piss again. So if you give me just a moment. I'll be right back. Give me like 60 seconds. to mute my mic when I step away. Fucking idiot. Sorry, still new streamer here. Alright. Anyway, let's continue on. Get my treasure. Go with this one. I don't even read descriptions most of the time. Although I could if I wanted like some lore. But there is always just so much to do in this game. Like, this game is actually fucking awesome about just pumping out content, man. I don't know how the company does it, because they have, like, four different games that they all consistently pump out more content for. Pretty nuts. Okay, let's see. Um, do I have... I think I do. 
skins one trending but no maybe not techniques but technique damage for the tinge tent the techniques respective which do I want I guess we'll do this one I'm pr I'm pretty sure I have an equation expanded if I don't yet I will by the end of the run um See, let's do an occurrence because I don't actually have that much cosmic fragments right now, so it might not be worth it to go to the store. Hi -ya! Hang on. I'm just like moving something around. Okay. You sit before the manual service desk of the Time Agency Bank. Looking through the water tank, you see a petite teller in front of a processor, changing their skin color and describing the general account opening process. Just to confirm, you'll be depositing a 100 standard hour deposit, and the Time Agency Bank will pay your interest at a rate of 2% in 5 rotations time. If this is correct, please complete verification according to the account opening process. Okay. Not reach out your hands and your fingers and meet the teller's tentacles through the screen as you complete one identity verification after another. The hate assignment from your banks and stuff. In order to ensure the safety of your account, please set a secondary security question and complete operations on the screen. Question one, where were you born? Uh, I actually don't know. In game. The extremity of a tomato. Um... I guess I'll say here to Space Station. That's the earliest place I remember. What is your species? I could go for the funny answers, but I'll just answer the ones that are actually truthful. I feel like... I don't know if that even gets you a better reward or whatever, but we'll see. Configuration complete. Ah, sorry, my nose itches. <clears throat> this bank has prepared a gift for customers who activate the service for the first time. Please go to the front desk window and use your debit card to retrieve your reward. Tentacle reaches forward to give you a bank card and close in a waterproof envelope. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think it's good I chose the ones that were truthful because that will make them easier to remember. Thank you for your support of Time Agency Bank. Always remember, time is money. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. So it's like you invest your time to get... So, what is it? Maybe they're taking time off your life so you get some money. Honestly, I'd probably trade some of that. We'll be like, yeah, you're going to live for the next 50 years. If you take off 10, we'll give you $1,000. I'll probably ask for more, actually. But you know what I mean. Oh, I'd ask for way more, actually. And it's just something I think. Now I'm kind of just spacing out thinking about that. Anyway, an arcade machine appears in front of you in the deserted Interastral Department store building. Trendy gachapon figures, ether orbs, and clay dolls are stacked inside the display cabinet. Electronic music and colorful lights come alive as you approach. Is it a claw machine? Because those I can win at. I'm not even joking. I'm the perfect man in the arcade. The arcade machine starts to play an electronic voice. You suppose this is added by a playful programmer. You can't help but shudder. You suspect that there must be a catch. Well, there always is, but you can play around it. Embark on the challenge to become the perfect man. Yeah, I'll do it. Perfect music that signals the start of the game blares off next to your ears. I expect there's maybe going to be a fight or something here. Chance of obtaining a random curio. Uh, I don't really want negative curios. We'll do this. Low chance of obtaining a curio. Oh man. Can I play again? Yeah, play again. It, it's always going to take a couple tries. Okay, I'll try one more time. One more. Yeah, let's go. Record from beyond the sky. Upon entering battle, all allies will nullify all damage. Received except for dot until after they are attacked and cannot be debuffed. That's actually that actually seems really good. You've got it. You've won a perfect Trendy Gotchapon figure. 
you want to continue playing, but the arcade machine is broken, just come back next time. And only one prize, I guess. Okay, if there's another Hanu one here, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> okay, this is kind of the one I was looking for. Face Shao will make this easy as shit. Watch this, hang on. About to set a new personal record. Meow. <laughs> it's kind of OP. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, that's a great reason to bring Fei Shao into this, because her technique just owns that game. Just makes it totally Ooh, nice. brainless. But surely there's something better out there. Ooh, which do I want here? This would be good if Firefly was on my team. Let's do this one. Let's see. Enhances blessings. Huh. Okay. Who's on the map when entering combat? Speed increase might not be bad, but I might just enhance the blessings. I don't think I really need that. Let's see. After storing destructible objects, there's a small chance to receive one random blessing, but also a small chance of storing this carry and causing all teams to lose all energy and technique points. Um... I don't know if that's worth it. I'm just gonna increase the chance for additional treasures to appear. Huh. I guess we'll. Huh. I guess we'll try this. I don't know what the chaos medicine box is. All right, over here. Yeah. Oh, this is what they're talking about. Absolute, huh, should I try it? Hmm, wonder if I should try this. Obtain one to three random curios. Obtain one random negative curio. You know, I'm gonna try it. I don't know what that is, but hopefully we can do something that discards a curio before the end of the run. Yeah, what is this? Upon entering battle, all allies have a 150 base chance to become frozen. Ooh. That might be rough. Yeah, let's hope I can get rid of that. Whoa. Ooh. Emma gains one blessing relation after obtaining this curio and choosing your Okay. Sure. Okay, that's actually pretty good though. I think those curios might outweigh it. We'll see. The thing is, I'm gonna have to make sure. Yeah, I feel like with the Venturines, um, technique will probably be safe to just get through that first turn of Frozen. Hopefully. A morning actor riding a cosmic elephant slowly comes into sight. She is still weeping for some reason. Then she dismounts the cosmic elephant and offers to perform a special magic show to you for free. I think I've read this before too. Yeah, she's doing like a cup game. Discard two rant and obtain four random. Discard one, obtain three rant. Uh. Huh. That's actually kind of a ch tough choice. Would I have more ble or quality over quantity? Yeah, let's do this. Ooh, that might not be great to lose. 
Uh, maybe it's not too bad. Alright, not gonna worry about it too much. You on the snow plains wrapped tightly in a fur coat. A man is coming your way. The tall and slender man has crimson curly hair and a freckled face. He sounds cute. He's wearing leather boots and holding a rifle. He points at a spherical, spherical building in the distance and says, The pharmaceutical branch of the IPC is hunting biological materials to manufacture precious drugs, and so are recruiting bounty hunters in the Snowland. According to a secret source, the s rank bounty hunter for Snow Plains Yaks comes with a handsome reward. <clears throat> I'm surprised by how cold this place is. Could you lend me your fur coat? You catch sight of the Snowland Animal Welfare Association badge worn on the man's chest. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I want any more negative curios. You know what? Sure. You can have my coat. I like the cold. Cold never bother me anyway. Oh, I didn't read that. Okay. Or, wait, I can just get rid of this one, right? Because I already used it. Alright, not a bad trade. Oh, wait. I don't know if I've actually seen this before. What is this? I think this might be new. Um, you currently own a carry will be destroyed. This huh, okay. Once a domain, all hours cover all HP, energy, and technique points and reset all. Ca oh, that seems pretty freaking good. But I don't know if I actually need it. Um, I've seen these before. What I like, wonder what happens if you have all of them. The, will trigger the anti-organic equations regional resonance. Is that just like wipe stuff? Um, you obtain one random blessings needed for the equation to discard one random blessings unneeded by the equation each time you enter a domain. That actually seems kind of good. If you don't have any blessings that can be discarded in this way, this carry will be destroyed. How many of these are there? Okay, I definitely don't want that right now. Let's we'll go with this one. That seems like a really safe play. Um, this could be good. Or, hang on. Choosing blessings after winning a battle, one two blessings have chosen, but the number of available blessings will reduce by one. Oh, yeah, this one absolutely. Stealing last of the hunt. I'm not even gonna read it. We're just gonna go with that. Hi, cat cakes, or whatever the fuck you're called. Um, I don't need any of that. Okay, boss time. Well, let's try sparring with this guy. Move some of my shit around off screen. Okay. Um, real quick before I fight this guy, I forgot I need to take my meds real quick. Give me just a second. Also, if there's anyone in the chat, anyone watching, make sure to take your meds, stay hydrated, eat some nice food, do all that good stuff. But I think the most important one, at least for me, is absolutely, absolutely take your medication. Anyway, just a second.
Okay. Medication is in me. That's a good dinner right there, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's important for me so I don't fucking have like a seizure and drop dead or something, but even if it's not like super serious medication, you know, make sure you take it, guys. I wish I had my hand tracking right now to freaking tell you to take your medication. I'd be pointing at the screen lecturing you. Oops. The bigger the risk, the better the reward. I'm still not sure which expression I like better. I think the more happy one is actually more inviting. Anyway. Hi, little cat thingies. What you got? Oop. Could still do one more. I don't even really read these. I just go for, like, the first one <laughs> in each, uh, like, rarity. Oh, the bigger the risk, the better the reward. Sounds good. Oh, oh. Each block comes under the... Let's see. And boss time. I'm sure we'll be fine. Existence is unity. Does someone else take this Every one? Every petal this, in life's garden. This, this. All will be swept away by the wind. Make sure you do your stuff in order. Show you what I can Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch it! The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All right. I venture forth to forever. Triumphant! <laughs> Victory is inevitable! I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant! This is what I was talking about. Sometimes her ults just like chain right into each other. It's kind of nuts. Every petal in my Especially garden. right now. Holy shit. Oh, will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> We're literally just doing everyone's ults over and over. This is kind of nuts. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant! <laughs> Victory is inevitable! I venture forth to forever. Triumphant! <laughs> Victory is inevitable! You'll make good practice. Time to show you what I can reach. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch it! The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Nice job. Again, I didn't even put Sifu up. What am I doing? Never hesitate. Go. Yeah. Awesome. God, the, game, the game's going so fast, my yeah. just having a hard time There's keeping more to up. Life. It's sort of stuttering a little bit. And I already have full shields. Yeah. It's kind of nutty. Stay away. All right. Every petal in life all will be swept away by the wind. I venture forth to hunt. Forever. Triumphant! Ch -ch Victory is inevitable! I venture for it forever. Triumphant! Victory! I think that ends the fight. I'm pretty sure these guys will run. Yeah, or I'll die at the same time. Yep. Yeah, man, I don't care if this team isn't the, the meta air quotes. Again, I wish I had hand tracking so you could see that. This team kind of. This team kind of fucks. Ooh, what do we want here? Curious following the paths of destruction or nihility. Um, of preservation, harmony, and hunt. So, not that one. After physical or fire characters, I don't have either of those. So, I. Or physical. Wow, none of these are fucking useful. Um, I don't know. Just take a random one, I guess.
We will take that one. Thank you. Sometimes it's nice to slow down a bit. Um. Let's see. Maybe not this one, because I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, let's do this. Why not? Just increases um, Run Maze power to keep shit locked down. Alright, I have Cosmic Fragments. Fragments burning hole in my pocket, so we can go to the store. Hi, Herida. I'm excited for your real person to actually join the game. The Herta. Anything I want. Not really. Hi, Screwlim. Who gets screwlimed over by not having him as a playable character. We'll upgrade. We'll get this one. Abundance is always good to have. Let's get the hunt ones. I might as well get these because why not? Oh, these are also. Oh, and that's there. Nice, dude. I think we're pretty well set for the last boss here. Hopefully. Hopefully, I don't get all the way at the end and they just kick my ass. Which could very well happen. Sure. I have extra fragments. Alright, and I think that's all my equations expanded now. Sound lingers. Well up before we do that. Just a sec. Sorry, it's fixing my mic a little bit too. <clears throat> um, <laughs> if I ever showed my mic, it's pretty fucking scuffed. I have it just rubber banded onto like a mic arm, 
and I swear, for some reason, the rubber bands just split super easily all the time, like, abnormally so. It's really hard to keep the thing rigged up. Like, I don't even really move them at all or anything. They just split super easily. I use the thickest rubber band I can find in the world, and it's... I don't know, maybe it's the constant just expanding and unexpanding a little bit. Could really use a better mic. Someday. Anyway, welcome to the city of St. Domingo. We sell cheat codes here. Oh, cool. The mechanical attendant explains without a care in the world. The king, you were definitely crazy about when you were little. But we have a slightly different as they are the St. Domingo version. The, the kind. I don't know why I misread that. Use it any way you want. Just make sure you don't get caught by the mecha cops. Mecha cop doesn't sound very inviting. Like a robocop? We don't see that video of Robocop. It's like an edit of the movie where he's just like shooting people's dicks off. Great video. Classic. One of the best videos ever, probably. Erm. I mean, I don't think I really need... You know what? I want both. Let's risk it. Let's go! Yes! I think I've done that before and it worked as well. I think that's just the way to go with this one. Make a bold gamble. Who knows what will happen next? I think that one favors you. It wants you to gamble, you know? You sit by the dam of the Crystal Sea. A massive feathered whale. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Traverses the material world's border, leaping out of the surface, then swiftly crashing back into the scintillating crystal structure. Hundreds of thousands of anglers jostle about, their hands grappling at phase-shifting fishing rods and letting their bait sink into the crystalline depths. The Dignans use angling to offer prayers to the Crystal Mother, and she gives everyone reciprocating rewards based on each of their will. After saying this, the High Priest hangs a piece of gold to the hook, casting it powerfully into the solid sea. Simply put, I kind of wish a lot of these had like illustrations to go with them, but I know that'd be a lot of work. But the writing is pretty cool. Simply put, as long as you offer tribute, you can catch anything you want here, even fish. The guide irreverently translates. Maybe sometimes it is better to just paint it in your head. A crystal sea with a feathered whale jumping out of it. Um, what do I want? I'll fish up some fragments. You tie your consciousness and the fishing line in your hand together. The Hyper says that this thread was crafted from the Crystal Mother's body. Now, who's the Crystal Mother, though? You hear an affectionate voice querying you from all around. The Crystal uses its own body to nurture reality. What tribute do you intend to offer to sate the thirst of the transcendental world? Transcendental world. Uh, ooh. Don't want that. I can lose a blessing, maybe. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, that kind of sucks, though. You cast the heavy fishing hook, and it slowly penetrates into the crystal, sinking into a domain that the eye cannot fathom. You suddenly feel something graze your face, a gust, a raindrop. It tells you to reel your line in, to end this tribute to the Crystal Mother. You know what? Worth it. Reel in the line. A, glitter a glittering gem completely envelops the hook. Through its glinting surface, you glimpse something languidly writhing within. Ooh, what's in there? Whoa. Okay, so we're reaching the end here. And it said my team was underpowered, and this is a newer team I'm working with. But you know what? I don't think it's underpowered. I think we're going to be just fine. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't take that back and eat my words. I will take this one. Noise. level the abundance one and let's level a hunt one or enhance is the word not level I guess all right next boss time hold up
what's this here? The waves of silver strings seem as though they'll never finish. The light of the stars has yet to fall, and the recaptured Kalaman colony have already returned to the frenzied buzz of the insectoids. You take off your armor and beat your heart forcefully, trying to use pain to stimulate your returning body. If only you could just hold on to one more hold on one more time. As long as you can take back the star system, you'd even be happy to disappear into an entropy reaction. The broken torsos drip Ugh, broken torso. Ugh. Drift off silently on the surface of Nihility's sea, and you can't tell whether it's armor or a wing sheath. Huh. Uh. Maybe you don't want to be smiling for this right now. You can't tell whether it's armor or a wing sheath. Before so support arrives, you decide to bring the knight for one last fight. Um, destroy the main force of the swarm. Piercing your armor with their poisonous stinging barbs, the bugs quickly break up your body tissue, which is then neutralized by the potion injected by the armor. Fierce firepower holds down the enemy's assault, but the never-ending stream of insects manifests themselves into an iron curtain that's con constantly peeling off, which slowly rolls closer to you. I don't know if there's actually a right answer there. I know that if you kill the main one, all the rest will follow suit, but also you can't let the smaller ones get out of control. I get... F yeah. I know, like, what they're f dealing with here. The fucking... Um... Not like Eon, like an emanator of propagation. The fucking bugs that are a pain in the dick to beat sometimes. Um, tear them open from the inside, I guess. Broken wings and mandibles poke into your armor, and a piercing roar envelops you, just like the horrible shrieks that keep you up at night. They push and shove as they pounce toward you, each bug trying to taste this delicious, delicious snack delivered straight to their door. The remaining fireflies are ready to speak of your doomed fate. You use the last remnants of your consciousness to boost the thrusters to max power. Us were like on a ship with armor. I thought they were talking about armor we were wearing. I see. I see what they're talking about. The overloaded temperature is enough to even scorch someone who's been with the armor for years like yourself. Or are they talking about. Are they talking about Firefly? Huh. I think they are actually. I think they're referencing Firefly here. See, I haven't actually completed her story either. I really need to. Farewell, comrade. The summer bugs have never seen snow before. In a daze, you see a glowing bug landing. Yeah, they're definitely referencing firefly. Because fire flies, literally. A glowing bug landing on the back of your hand as though it had been waiting here a long time. You gently stroke its thorax as you walk off gleaming into the eternal darkness. Is that maybe foreshadowing or sort of spoilers for her story. Is that what happened to her? She used the Sam armor to try to stave off the propagation bugs and like sort of died in the process but then comes back on Pentaconi. I'm just speculating here. I really need to advance the story more at some point. Just there's so much other stuff to do. I still haven't beaten this motherfucker when he's in his boss mode yet. Like that's where I'm at in the story. Anyway, let's see what you got, Argenti. This one is uh, dangerous. Let's see if we can beat this guy, hopefully. If I lose here and can't beat him, I'm gonna be upset. Although, it's looking pretty good so far. Alright, hang on. So we'll do this. Every petal in life's garden. This, this, this. All will be swept away by the wind. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. I'm pretty confident. The dice have been cast. Or maybe I'll take it off. I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant! I venture forth to hunt. I also really like Argenti's music. Let me actually make sure I have that kind of turned up. I'm a sucker for a good violin. 
Like, this music's pretty good. even summoned his little like shield things yet that he usually is supposed to be doing. Yeah, those. Let the duel commence? Dude, it's been going. Yeah, honestly, I think we just nuke him down. I'm already a full shield. Watch your head. Oh yeah, this guy's fucking sick stuff. Nothing to it, dude. My team's overpowered, yeah, fuck you. Over no, it's not. Fast enough for you. I don't think I took a single hit there. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yeah, let's definitely save this file, because it was pretty freaking good. Short respite, then time for the next fight. Ooh, relic remains are always good. Alright. Yeah, claim all my shit. We can do some pulls. And I got more credits, so we can do more upgrades. Excellent. I think that's actually what I was going for, huh? I still don't even know what to spend immersifiers on, if I'm being honest. I always have way too many. Alright, we got some good shit here. Is there even a point in doing the, um, like the ordinary extrapolation? I guess there kind of is, because I haven't cleared this yet. But, uh, what else is there rewards? I guess maybe we should just freaking do it. But maybe I don't need to do it right this second. Uh, hmm. See, I'm still not <laughs> entirely sure how that stuff even <laughs> quite works. If I need to do all of it every single week, or if you only really need to do, like, one. I guess it'd be good to get jades and stuff, but I'm not super concerned about jades right this second. I mostly just want, like, upgrade materials. But speaking of jades... I think we can do a polar two. Oh yes, we can. Come on, Acheron, come home. Not it. Not it. Oh, um. Do you have any passes here? Sure, why not? All right. I wonder if I can buy any more passes with some embers. Doesn't look like it, but Tracks of Destiny are always good to have. Let's grab those. Okay. Ooh, a couple more passes there. That's always fun. I think I'm only missing, like three people from this banner missing Branya, Jepard, and Clara. And I know in the next patch here you're going to get to pick one, which is cool. Oh! And that might actually be a really good light cone for 
March. I'm gonna have to check that. Miss, let me actually pull that up now. Cause that looks like one of her signature light cones. Um, where are you, March? Yeah, what are good light cones for her? Let me look real quick. Cause I'm pretty sure I have. The website here isn't showing that I have a good light cone, but I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, river flows in spring. Or wait, no. Recommended ones. Yeah, still none of those, but what? let me take a look at what that one is. Is that not, not even one on the right path for her? Well, that makes no goddamn sense. She was on the art for it. What the heck, dude? Alright, never mind then. Yeah, not really anything there. Okay. Um, who was I looking at before? Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, again, so I did my... Um, Divergent Universe for the week. Hmm. Let me double check Ron May's build here. I don't remember if I have, like, the right light for... I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Then we're kind of just leveling her traces, right? Or, no, we can't quite level hers. I think I want to try to level Aventurines. Let me check his light cone too. Just want to make sure our build is actually decent. I mean, I think this build's pretty damn good. Yeah, that's a good light cone for him. And yeah, we can continue to build his shit a little bit here. Now that we've got some credits and some materials and shit. Um, yeah, let's level his skill a bit more. <clears throat> actually kind of losing track of what I was even doing here. <laughs> I think we're, yeah, I'm just going to keep loving a little bit more characters I have. And then we're going to try to fight Kakoli in a bit here. This is about the time where I start to burn out on my stream a little bit for some reason. Oh yeah, we can do, well, I don't know if I want to spend those. Um, no. That didn't drop from them. Uh, yeah, we can do some of. Yeah, we can do these. We can definitely just upgrade those all to purple. To the purple rarity. And then. Yeah, what else can we do? So you want to level up his skill, then talent first, then I... Yeah, I guess we might as well just level up everything else we can. Because why not? Um, and then these are what you really want. I can't farm this yet, can I? No. Nope. And nopers. We can probably do this one, though. What? Yeah, and I have more credits now, so let's go for it. Don't want to spend that. Can probably I can actually spend these. All right. Um. Yeah, we can level this a bit more. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I can synthesize a good number of these. Oh, Ember's Exchange is... Sure, why not? 
Might as well spend the embers. And yeah, we can do this. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, we can farm. Yeah, we can farm some of these, I guess, real quick. Because why not? Well, I still have the credits and some trailblaze power. Let's just do a bunch of these. Um... Yeah, let's just go back to my, like, fucking main farming team here. I usually just switch out. Because <laughs> I swear, most of these teams are weak to electric, and one of my friends I have has a pretty <laughs> OP acker on so here it's that you. I just use here for support Our all time. the time. Just auto battle. Because why not accept a little help from your friends? Nothing wrong with that. Alright, just gonna let farm for a second. Eternal. Despot for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! All will be swept away by the wind. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> Destiny for oblivion. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. <laughs> Let's improvise. Existence is unity. Still waters of oblivion. My friends, <laughs> indulge yourselves! for the departed. It too shall fall. Dreams do come true. Still waters of oblivion. Let's improvise. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Let the show begin. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. I spent the whole day just grinding, trying to just level everything on my characters. I think it's going to be worth it, because hopefully after today, I can actually make some goddamn progress in the story and do some trailblaze continuing and stuff. So I've been stuck on that shit for a while. And I need to catch up on the story before the next big patch comes out, which is probably pretty soon.
Really? That's all I got? Hang on, what was, what was I just doing? I feel like I should have earned a lot more than that. Are you kidding me? That's all I got? Do it again. <laughs> so now it's that you. seemed just fucking unlucky. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. Eternal. The still waters of oblivion. for the departed. It too shall fall. Dreams do come true. Destined for oblivion. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. Existence is unity. Still waters of oblivion. Dreams do come true. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My friends? Indulge yourselves! Let's improvise. All will be swept away by the wind. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Dreams do come true. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> Let's improvise. Let the show begin. Eternal. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Dreams do come true. My friends, indulge yourselves! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Why is all I'm getting fucking blues and greens? Are you are you joking me? This is bullshit right now. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. What the heck? Is this, is this what the heck's going on? Just for oblivion. <laughs> oh, catch up. All will be swept away by the wind. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Still waters of oblivion. for the departed. It too shall fall. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. I actually really like borrowing my friend Zachary on too, because 
she fucking cares and it's convinced me to like, I really want Akron, more than I already did, the little I know about her in her Panacone story, but like, makes me like her even more. She seems just cool as fuck. Dude, these, these couple banners, these last bunch have been very tempting to spend a, uh, an amount of money on. But I want both characters to be some- I'm gonna want both characters from the next foreseeable, like, at least two banners. It might- I might dip into my wallet a little bit. I've only spent five dollars on this game so far, and I've had good luck, but... But the way the new banners are looking, this company might be getting a bit more of my money. Just saying. Again. Let's improvise. Let the show begin. Like I'm gonna want Sunday. I'm gonna want Thieves. And there's a bunch of rerun characters oh, that I also want. By the wind. Especially because there's been rerun characters that I've already missed out on, and I fucking regret it. So I have to get. I have to pay more attention now. I can't be slacking. I weep for the departed. <laughs> Dreams do come true. <laughs> Still waters of oblivion. Oh, catch up. <laughs> oh, shit, these guys are actually kind of kicking my ass. Eternal. Yeah, but that's why Gallagher's good for oblivion. He's really good at getting the team all topped off. I'm having a hard time deciding which, like, support, sustain character I want to actually, like, level and get. There we go, finally some purple items. Between, oh, I'm probably gonna, well, you know, I might be okay, actually. I'm having a hard time deciding between Gallagher and Adventure. Especially because I like their character design and stuff, both, like, a lot, a lot. It's very hard to decide. I think they're both they're both super fucking cool. Time to mix things up. I weep for the departed. It is so far. I'm leaning towards adventuring just because I think he might be better, but friends. Gallagher might fit well better on just more teams overall. I really don't know, honestly. Let the show begin. All will be swept away by the wind. Destined for oblivion. Again. Honestly, I, I kind of relate to Gallagher. I feel like we share very similar like personalities and stuff. Eternal. Say the least. <laughs> Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. Maybe a little bit of a difference between All what I'm will going be for. Because, like, they both serve the same purpose. Gallagher's really I good at just keeping people alive it's with healing, but Aventurine shields. Aventurine might be better, honestly, for um, damage. Gallagher's sustain is just, just really, just overall, really good. I don't know. 
I'm leaning adventure. Maybe I'll just fucking level and book, because you're gonna want two teams in this game anyway, especially for pure fiction, so... Maybe I'll just level them both. Uh, eventually. Let the show begin. That's probably actually a really smart thing to do. Friends? <laughs> yourselves! Eternal. I weep for the part. It too shall fall. Still waters of oblivion. Let's improvise. Just for oblivion. All right. So I think I think what I do here. I might do like one more set of one more set of like upgrade material runs here. Upgrade as much as I can, and then we're gonna. Let's see, how long have I been going? Well, let's see. I can still go for a while tonight, so let's just see what we got here. I can do just a bit more farming. Then we're gonna go try to beat Kolia in her difficulty five setting, which I haven't beaten yet. And it'd be good to have her um, next one unlocked as well. And then I, I don't know. A bit after that, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after that. Maybe wrap up. Maybe go for a little bit longer. See, even this stuff costs like credits I don't really have. Um, yeah, like, who do I want to freaking level here? I've run May, level up as much as I can. I'm really liking my Fei Shao team. This I can't even, like, f actually even farm yet, unfortunately. See, I need to advance the story more just so I can do that. Yeah, let's keep, um, let's keep gearing up, or... Er, Level up adventuring. Can't do that. Can't do that. Let's do this. This. Can't do that anymore. Do this. This. Boom. And that's all the credits I have. <laughs> all right. So yeah, at this point, I think pretty much all that's left to do is challenge Kakolia again. Then maybe try to wrap up some of the events to just for another like 30 minutes to an hour or so. And then maybe sign off from there. But it's not even that late tonight. We'll just see what I want to do. Let's, um, yeah, let's try to see how we fare against Kakolia at this point. I've already done all my Echoes of War for the week, but I want to see if I can beat her at difficulty 5. So let's get my team lineups all lined up, so to say. This team here. This is my... Alright, that was crazy. Um, my computer literally just blue screened. What the hell happened there? Oh my god. Well, let's see maybe if my hand tracking will work. Doesn't look like it. What the hell? Okay, hopefully I'm back. Jesus, dude. And I swear, I even, I've even upgraded my computer a little bit recently, but I guess that's not freaking good enough for it. Okay, let's get the shit back to where it's supposed to be. That's fucking crazy, dude. What the heck? Hang 
on. Give me just a minute here. We'll try to get back in the game. All right, game audio. Nope, nothing there. Just a sec. Try to fix that. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened there. Dude, I swear, I've had upgrades recently. I've upgraded my RAM. I just got a new graphics card that was hoping helped, but it might honestly be like a CPU thing. I honestly don't know what over must have like overloaded my computer there. Oh my god. Okay, let's uh let's get back into it. As fast as possible. Yeah, literally my whole computer just crashed. Alright, just a second. Let me make sure. My shit's properly calibrated. That should be good. And I was hoping hand tracking would work now. Oh, maybe I can try resetting it. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think any changes I make right now are gonna help it. That's still, it's again something to look at later, I guess. What the hell, dude? Okay. That was kind of crazy. Just a sec. Get all my shit organized again. Just a second. Okay. Yeah, that was hopefully something that's not too concerning hopefully it doesn't that doesn't become a regular thing my goodness anyway we're going to try to beat this bitch again let's redo my team lineups so this is again my like main team that I've been building um, but this is a team I want to try to use. So let's uh, let's enable that team, and then I'm gonna see if we can do. We're gonna do like as much upgrades as we can to it. We're gonna try with maybe a couple different teams to see if we can beat Kakolia again here, at her highest difficulty. So her cone is good. Her traces are as good as they're gonna get right now see if we can level level up some of her relics real quick actually nope I'm low on credits so we're just gonna try to do the fight and of course my computer crashes at like probably the, the most important part that I was the most important thing I was gonna try to do today is beat Kakolia Says current team is underpowered, but I've been told that all day, and I've been fine. So, we're going to just give it a try here. Oh, this boss is really cool. This boss has really great music, especially in the second phase. Okay, to make sure my mic and game audio working. That sounds good, right? Okay. Let me just check one thing. It's a replay for an alert. I just want to make sure my alerts are also working. Good job! Yep, that looks good. Awesome. And already you can tell the music is pretty damn good. Oh, right, just a second. Let me fight. We'll see. I don't know if I have high hopes for this team. Because she is not weak to anything I have. Okay, you know, I don't expect to win this fight, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah, I'll just listen to the music, do. it fucking works. Uh, and I think I understand how this team is kind of working now. I skip Fei Shao's first um, like skill here to get Adventuring, Shield Up, and Long Maze buff up. Oh, like this. 
every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. Yeah, that was crazy. My computer just entirely crashed. And then, yeah, this might honestly be rough for this team. I'm deciding whether I should nuke her down or if I should be taking care of the ads. What did the ads do again? That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, it says unremoval when Summer's defeated the sub -mount. So, I don't think I can even do anything against them anyway. So, we are going to be I just nuking her down. Or at least try to. Let's see. Um, yeah, we can do this. I mean, even if we're not breaking our weakness, we're still doing pretty decent damage. Sure, I'll play along. Spend freely. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All in. Well, for the most part. We'll see how the fight goes, I guess. I'll do this, because Ron May is going to still have to buff up for a bit. Yeah, we'll see. I honestly don't expect to win this team. I just want to experiment with this team more. There's more to life. Um. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want more shields, especially because March. March is great. Um, she's skill point positive, so once she has her support up, it lasts the entire fight. So uh, yeah. she just basically do. does auto attacks, follow up attacks, and kind of buffs up. Never Okay, yep, I think I'm doing it right. That's the thing about this team is I feel like I have to be kind of careful with how I'm spending the skill points, especially because I have no heals, so I need adventuring to make sure he's actually shielding the other team members. Like, this isn't looking good, because I have no way to heal March now. So it's doing decently, but I don't know if it's quite going to win the fight. Probably not. But we're gonna try. If we lose March, then yeah, there's probably not much hope for the team. She's some of the main damage. She's like the other main damage dealer. As awesome as Fei Shao is, I don't think she's gonna pump out enough damage to get through Phase 2. Yeah. Um. I want to see if I can at least break through phase one here. It's on me. Show me what you can do. I'll get the fairly still here. So we can at least get through phase one, but it's maybe not quite gonna cut it for this fight. I just wanted to get to this because the music is gonna start to rip here in a second. I think. 
like even more than Audi was. And it's like she's sure. kind of barely making a dent in phase two. So. Well, I think this team is pretty good. I don't think it's quite gonna do it. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Power translates into hope. Yeah, this is where we need to Yeah, here we go. Let's see if I can turn it up a little bit. Yeah, music's already at its max. And, yeah, she died. <laughs> um, maybe I'll see how much we can chip him down. Because I've done it before, where, um, had a team look like it was going to fail, and then the last member was able to just pull it off. It's on me. Like, just barely. Eternal. Well, I don't think this team's going to quite Every do that. All will be swept away by the wind. I venture forth to hunt forever. Maybe see how close I can get. If, it, if this team does win, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking pop. Spin freely. Well, I'm missing a lot of damage by not having March here. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. I venture forth forever. I don't know. We might be able to pull this off. If Face Shout can pull out enough, pull out enough damage here. Okay, we're, gonna, we're gonna make sure to shield it up. We might. I, yeah, I think we can actually do this. Spend all my skill points right. All will be swept away by the wind. Keep all my buffs and shields up. Going for the long run. Don't just nuke with a shout. So right now she's gonna want shields again. This might even take him out right here. Uh, well, this isn't gonna quite take him out, I don't think, but it's gonna do something. Watch your head. Oh, hang on, sorry. Strings that it will kill her. Bam. Oh, not quite. Oh, this will this will kill. Guys, we fucking nailed it. That was awesome. I don't know if that was a good clear time. I wonder if my Firefly team could do it even faster. But dude, that's actually awesome. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's fucking go. I didn't expect that team to win, honestly. And even losing March, we still were able to pull it off. I think Aventuring Shield and just Ron maybe being kind of OP really went a long way. Wow. That was actually very fun. And that's uh, that's the first time I've cleared her on that difficulty. So I should be able to do the... Uh, no, that's at next equilibrium. But 
Yeah. They said my current team was underpowered, and maybe it was. I lost March on the way, but overall, yeah, I I thought this team was going to lose, especially after we lost March. In fact, I almost um, just surrendered and left the fight after that. I just lost March. I thought for a second, I was like, ah, the fight's over. We're not going to win. I was like, you know what? Let's stick around. Maybe we can beat her. And we did. I had a similar thing happen when I beat um, Stellar on Hunter Sam and Pentacone. All of my team was fainted except for Gallagher. And um, Sam still had like an entire phase left, but Gallagher was able to pull off enough heals and just enough damage to win the fight. It's like, that's the thing this game is, don't give up just because one of your characters fades in the fight or whatever. You might still be able to just pull it off. If your team is built right, maybe sometimes you'll have to sacrifice one person just to win it. And we freaking did it. Hell yeah. That was awesome. That was actually a lot of fun to do. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> if anyone is watching and wants to get in this game, this is the, that was like the main boss for the second world you go to, like the end boss. And it's pretty hype. Like, all the stuff looks cool. The music is really good. And the fight's actually a little bit challenging. Like, I know, <laughs> I maybe made it look easy there, but yeah, this game's actually really good. It, uh, I don't know why I looked at this. There's plenty of stuff like that where you do actually have to have good team build and know how to strategize and use skill points a little bit. It's easy to learn, difficult to master, and for a like free to play gotcha phone game, it actually has like a lot of depth, really good story, and like really good strategy and boss fights and stuff like that. I have zero complaints about this game. I think it's awesome, and it's why I keep playing it and streaming it. Yeah, that was actually a lot of fun. I didn't think I was going to win there. I thought I was going to have to use my Firefly team. Especially because this team isn't really, like, meta at all. But I think it freaking works. If, you know, like... You kind of learn that as you go. So you play the game, you learn some team building, you get, like, your main carry character... Maybe two carries or like a support and carry. There, it's kind of Fajal is kind of a DPS. Then March is kind of like a sub DPS that supports her. Ron May is kind of just an OP support and then a sustain character. If you build a team like that, it'll probably work. And of course, there's different archetypes. Like I have my follow up team here. And this is all honestly kind of also a follow up team. God, if only I had Topaz, I would have a pretty great follow up team. And Robin. I am still upset that I missed out on those two pulls. Just because I was slack and I didn't come into the game enough, I definitely could have gotten them both, and I regret not doing it. That's another thing in this game. All the characters are really awesome. They all really have their great backstories, and they're all, uh... Well, if I'm being honest, they're all super pretty. They're all super cool looking. So what's not to like? Anyway, um... Fight took like 20 minutes there. Could go for a bit longer here. It's only. Yeah, it's still not that late. Um, we can do. We can maybe wrap up like an event or two here or something. Oh, are either of these finished yet? But yeah, the boss fights in this game are super fun. They're not like pushovers. Okay, I guess these are not done yet. That makes sense. See, I don't know why it has a go button and teleports me here. It's kind of... I don't really get it. Um, what was it I wanted to finish up? I definitely want to finish... Well, I need to finish this because I need to get this little pet here. I need the Tusk Beer pet. So I might as well get into that and it rewards some jades. See, I think I've got pretty much everything I wanted to get done today done. Um, I'm probably not going to stream that much longer. Uh, yeah, I was thinking I could maybe try to advance the story, but I don't know how long that's going to take. Like, who knows how many cutscenes or whatever is going to be after that. And I need to finish... Um, I mean, I guess these events aren't going anywhere. Actually, you know, I, I want to finish this up. 
The other vent's not going anywhere. Or maybe not. No, no. Let's let's do this one. We can go back to Luca's story here for a bit. And now that I know that team actually can really hold its own. My hallucinations are getting worse. When I was fighting Topaz. Oh shit! I, you know I kind of forgot he was having hallucinations and shit. Okay. I saw Madame Cocolia standing at the oh, other shit, end of I the just ring. Oh shit! I just fought her. Summoning blades of ice aimed at me. Sounds like your problem is getting serious. I guess so. But I don't think this is just some simple culture shock issue. Oh, I know! It's gotta be some IPC baddie dressed up as the Supreme Guardian, so you would hesitate to attack Topaz! There's a break coming up, so there won't be any fights. Luca, you can use this chance to rest and recuperate. I do need a break. I'm not actually an Iron Man or anything. Speaking of which, Pitch Dark Cook the Great, what are you doing here on your own? Where'd Svarog go? Well, Svarog said he needed to do some data sampling. He asked Hook to wait for him here and not disturb Love Svarog. Luca. Hook has been a goodie and waiting here alone. I know in the next Data patch sampling. you're gonna get a free <sighs> Forget pick it. from it's not like something basic I should be worrying now, about. Or like basic banner or whatever. Coach, I think I I'm gonna pick think Clara. Think I need to get my symptoms looked at, but where can I see a doctor on the Xianzhou? Oh, there's plenty of doctors here, dude. Please, if you don't mind. <sighs> I hope they're as good as Natasha. Yeah, I forgot. I actually do want to do a bunch more of this event because they bring back a lot of the. The, uh, the characters from Yorillo 6, which is really cool. What's up, Lynx? Please help me out. Can you take a look at the Divination Commission? Uh, I'm going to take him to the Alchemy Commission first because he's having hallucinations. But we can go to the Divination Commission after. Um, all right, but why? I don't think he knows that. Okay, no problem. But does he need to go to the Divination Commission? It's about Igor. Can you let him know? I forget who that is. The Divination Commission said that the Jade Pendant we brought them is actually a Jade Abacus. Oh yeah, I remember that part, I think. You should know what that is. Yep, it contains Igor's records. I think Luca would definitely be interested. Or if you the Divination Commission. Thanks, Lynx. I actually really like Lynx as a character. She just kind of goes on her own, explores the planes, a simple finds treasures and stuff. A would be that they are the Information Technology Department on the Sienjo. They are mainly responsible for predicting the future. Predicting the future. I guess they're kind of a big deal. At first, I thought she was a little awkward, but I guess she just uh, doesn't like socializing. What should we do first? See a doctor or go to the divination commission? Well, I think that's kind of up to you, man. Um, it it's, it really is more important to see a doctor I agree. first. If I'm pretty sure they have free health care here. Bad, we should see a doctor sooner rather than later. Let's go visit Ling Sha. I want to go too. I want to go too. What did Sparog say? Pitch Dark Hook the Great isn't allowed to disturb Luca. But this lounge is so small and boring. I can't show off my moves in a tiny place like this. Then, Pitch Dark Hook the Great, shall I take you to Aru Alley to eat yummy food? Have you ever eaten a song lotus cake that chirps? Ah, she knows how to get to her. I've never eaten it before. What's that? If I can taste this sun blotter's cake, I'll... Uh, I'll make you the mole's grand captain of gourmet discovery! I really didn't like Hook that much at first, but Thank she's kind of grown on me. Hook the great. So you have to keep in mind, she's still just right a kid. Now. Huh, Miss Carmella is such a kind person. She could get along with Hook so quickly. Okay, coach. We should get going, too. I wish Luca was just better <laughs> as, a, as like a character on a team. He kind of just, like, isn't that good. But I think his character design is super fucking cool. And I think his story is really just fun. Yeah, let's do it. 
Dude, and I still only have like a third of the chests in the area and shit. There's always so much to do in this game. There really is. You can explore the open world, farm for materials, you can do calyxes, you can all, do this all the events the they have, which uh, they're never this short of. Place is a Great hospital? game. Love this game. Can it get any bigger than this? It's a pretty nice place, right, dude? Uh huh. This is just this the lowest ranking department. Of all departments? Let's get him excited. Oh, this is, I think this that's is what he responds well to. Up you, Patrick, should do the trick. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to do. Oh, Ling Shang. Oh, and Su Shang is here too. Su Shang. I always mispronounce their names. I think Ling Shang's really cool looking. She's got like the red scales uh, and stuff. I guess you have a problem too. What sort of greeting is that? You're the one with the problem. Sorry, sorry. I mean, are you here to see a doctor too? No, I came here to help my Cloud Knight co-workers get medication for their bruises and swelling. Uh, sorry, I went too hard on him. It was a fair match, so no one's to blame. Actually, we should be grateful to you. They were so impressed by your abilities that they said they wanted to train harder. <laughs> we meet again. Who is this beside you? Hang on just a sec. It's a little quiet on my end, although I think the game volume is probably okay for OBS. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit on my end. Okay. He is... A war dance Hello, contestant. I'm Luca, a friend of hers. I'm from Bellabog and a contestant in the current war dance. Bellabog. Apologies, I'm not familiar with the name. Regardless, welcome to the law firm, Mr. Luca. Are you here for a consultation? Uh, this might sound weird. Interesting. Hmm. Let's run an imaging test first to confirm that your brain has no organic issues. A fighter's bound to run into such problems. Huh? What's it got to do with anything organic? I thought mechanical parts were fine in the tournament. Not that organic. It means... Uh, oh, how do I explain this? It means that the brain is broken. Oh shit, can you run a scan ah, on my brain? Because I'm brain sure it's broken in a bunch broken. of spots. Well, I've had scans. Uh, don't worry. Now that so you're I'm at the Alchemy Commission, I'll do my fine, best I to think. find a solution. <laughs> Hold still and don't move. Three, two, one. Cheese! We are not taking a photo. Hmm. Cauldron Master, what do you see? Is there any hope for me? Uh, hmm. Huh. There's a huge shadow in his brain. Could it be? I'm too young to die, Doc. You're not gonna die, kid. Hang on. Let's. Well, don't worry. Let's stay positive, and focus on. Um. Yeah, I'll do I'm it. Not gonna I'll stay positive and defeat the demons sure of this right. illness. 
Uh, Sounds like that you need shadow maybe looks a lot some therapy. Like my hand. Or something. I don't know. Look, you're still making the V sign. I told you it's not a photo. From the exam results, it looks like there's nothing wrong with your brain. Mr. Luca, yeah, have you been eating remember. anything unusual lately? Let me think. Well, I doubt he has a couple concussions some or something. of the local delights when I got here. Song lotus cake, chili oil beef opal stew, scale gourd spring water, mung bean soda, spicy diced chicken, garlic infused pork. After the tournament officially started, my diet has been pretty those are much all fine. the same. Brown rice, corn, buckwheat, boiled chicken breast, boiled beef shank, poached fish, boiled prawns. Uh, are we feeding livestock here? Mr. Luca, don't be afraid to tell me. Is she mistreating you? I will make sure you get justice. Of course not. I have to watch what oh, I eat well, during hey, a match. Don't blame me. I can't be stuffing myself with junk. Your appetite astounds me. But it seems you didn't eat anything that might affect your brain. Oh, right. After the match with Miss Sushang, I drank a bottle of sweet dream soda. But I think I was uh, really that hallucinating might actually do it a that. little bit. Sweet dream soda. I think I understand what's going on. It's not unusual to be anxious when you're far away from home. When your nerves were thrown into disarray, the sweet dream soda you drink intensified it. That drink has a fair amount of memoria in it, intended to make dreams more vivid and pleasant. But instead, it caused your anxiety to be amplified, eventually triggering serious hallucinations. Sorry, I didn't understand a word you just said. It's all right. There's no cure for such a symptom. What I mean is that you don't require medication. Just stroll around the Lafu more and take in the barrage of new sights and sounds. Stop drinking Sweet Dream Soda and your symptoms will disappear in a few days. Stroll around the Lofu more. Don't drink Sweet Dream Soda. Okay, I've got it memorized. I'm suddenly reminded of something that might help alleviate your symptoms. Please wait a moment. Something that can help alleviate my symptoms? Lady Lingsha said that these medical patches are very effective, but we're fighting again tomorrow. Will it be enough? I'd trust Ling Sha's recommendations. I think she knows what she's talking about. No. Nope. Those competitions happen. You guys didn't know? Huh. The War Dance has a popularity revival rule. If eliminated contenders or teams garner That's enough popularity sneaking. votes in online polls, they can participate in the repechage and re-enter the ring. Okay. I was thinking. Oh, Miss Susang's team is really popular then. I was thinking maybe it's more like a loser's bracket, but also popular. That's actually pretty cool. And yet, I'm sure they are. They have like a huge social media account. <laughs> it's all mainly yep, thanks to exactly. my good friend, Little Gwei. All she has to do is tap a finger on the internet, and our popularity votes will blast through the roof like yep, a comet. People know Gwenaifen. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, it's all thanks to Little Gwei's hard work that I, Sushang, am back in the fight. Yeah, this game does a really good job of bringing back the old characters for little stories, too. Like, having Sushong and Luca and Lunaifen back is... It's always just a fun time, you know? <laughs> not bad at all! 
<sighs> a friend that you can rely on is the most blissful thing in the world. Mr. Luca, come take a look. This is the tusk fur treatment that I've prepared for you. Whoa! What is it? Touch it! Touch it! They're very cute. They also eat them commonly on the low food. You're just like a strawberry bun! <laughs> Sweetie! We're not gonna cook up this one, though. Please come back to your Never. senses. Never! I can't stay rational in the face of such cuteness! I'm kinda with her if I'm this being honest. This is a tusker of the Sienjo Juming. Warm, sweet, not for consumption. Oh, it's pretty cute! But how can it make me better? The tusk purr is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality, treat insomnia, and relieve anxiety and depression. Dude, I feel like I need one of these things in my life. And the tusk purr loves strong memoria. The more depressed you are, the more happy it'll be. Isn't that right, little fella? <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, how much? <sighs> Don't worry. This Tusker is a personal pet of mine. I can lend it to you for this treatment, but you have to take good care of it for me. It's like, uh, I can't thank you enough. All throughout my journey, I've received so animal. much help from the Alliance. I will definitely repay everyone. Except this one literally feeds on negative emotions and sucks them out of you. The more depressed you are, the stronger it is. Okay, cool. Can I, like, give one to my mom or something, too? Oh, oh, you two! You guys have well, something important depressed, to attend to later, right? I hope it must be awfully tiring lugging this cutie pie around, right? 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 Stop staring at me with those weary eyes. You all go take care of your stuff. I'm about to head back to the Sky Splitter to deliver some meds to the team. As a Cloud Knight, I always help out and do at least one good deed a day. I can take this tusk fur to the lounge for you. I'll just hold it for a bit. I swear her. I won't steal it. That's fine by me, Miss Sushang. You can also come play with it anytime you want. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Mr. Luca. Come here, cutie. <laughs> Adorable little tusky, you're so cute. I could just gobble you right up. <laughs> Not for consumption, Sushan. Not this one. Go order tusk beard skewers or whatever from all oh, She's acting just like Zila did the first time she saw a real plains bear. Looks like the tusk bear not only regenerates rationality, it also destroys it. Hmm. Now that make for an interesting research topic. If there's nothing else I can do for the <laughs> both of you, I'll be on my way. That was a funny line. Thank you for the Tuskver. I will treasure it and shower it with love. Oh, we were delayed at the Alchemy Commission. Hope we didn't keep Lynx and the Master Diviner waiting too long. Let's go. Yeah, and um... We'll say, while some of the people complain about this area being kind of like small too, like the the low food, but I think it's like the sort of open, sort of open area design is really cool and stuff. Like, I think they do a really good job of making all the areas look cool in their own way. They all have like their own sort of design and stuff. Like this one's like sort of Asian, Japanese, Chinese inspired. Um, Gorilla 6 is like a sort of like industrial and like warm and cold desi designed. S the space station is what you think it's very like technological. It's a very cool area and I think the next area people are speculating it's supposed to be like sort of um, sort of like ancient Greek and like mythology inspired which I think sounds pretty cool whenever the next patch is here. <laughs> Oh, look, Lynx is over there. 
Quick, let's go see her. Luca, you're here. I had a strange really like encounter. Links. I think she's I kind of an old soul. Watching people play cards. Jai and I met a kind-hearted girl. She said she could help us repair the jade abacus we brought. But she was just called away by a few diviners and still hasn't returned. Yeah, isn't this girl a bit much? Thank you. You're a huge help. The girl should be just over there, playing some game with other diviners. One guess. <clears throat> one zero, one zero, I think one zero. I know who you're talking about. If I can freaking find her. Hang on. President Ching, you're getting better and better. You're probably yep, slacking off at work playing this I game, thought. right? You're one to talk, setting up endless scenarios in the Divination Commission. So, it is you, President Ching. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad they gave the Trailblazer voice lines. Um, a lot of games, I think, benefit from the main character, or the playable character that you play as, as not saying anything, sort of like Link or... Well, Master Chief does says does say stuff a lot too, but you know what I mean. For the longest time, Stell and Kalis didn't have voices themselves. I think it's pretty cool they uh, I'm have sorry. them actually voice I was voice doing gross playing. I didn't notice the time. <laughs> Just the girl I was thinking of. I still don't know You're how to pronounce her name correctly, though, so circle. I'm not going to try. Every Pathfinder fan knows what you. What circle? It's the Pathfinder fan circle. I'm not a Pathfinder. We heard that you relied blazer. solely on the Pathfinder the to overcome Maybe? the Heliobus yeah. possessing the Master Diviner. <laughs> That's oh, definitely the highlight of the Pathfinder one. since its conception 300 years ago. That was all thanks but to her. President Ching said it was all down to your hard work. Is it Ching Che? Okay. She and I have some things to take care of. Play with you next time. I would also no! love to have Ching Che hope I'm saying right, on a team, but she's just like way Gosh, too. She scared me. Like, what do you want? Um, skill point heavy. It's not every day we meet a Pathfinder well, legend. Really cool, like, game we can't let you leave that easily. Hmm. You have to play around a Pathfinder with me, or I won't let you take President Ching away. <laughs> what did I say the second one? You can have her. How many chinchus do you have? <sighs> Just play around with her. I doubt she'll let go of this chance to boast about it. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Let's play around. Let's play? What? Play one round with her and make it quick. I've made Lynx wait for me too long. Okay, sure. I'm always up for a quick match of some game you ready to have a match with me give me like a practice match to grasp the rules and then yeah i'll play a match with you sure I'll just do it lightning quick let's see what we're doing in this game um most of the puzzles like this are not very hard at all but there's occasionally some puzzles that might be just scratch your head a bit so yeah, we need to get this guy over here in the amount of turns we have. I think I'm remembering how to do this. I have six commands left, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that does it. One, two, three, yeah. They don't so call you a legend for nothing, hard. Nameless. You solved my riddle in a flash. Pathfinder, 
Once you play, you'll forget about hatred, love, and life itself. In the Divination Commission, we play such a magnificent, bold, and fiery game. Satisfied now? Then we'll be off. We'll come find you tomorrow if we're free. Yeah, I'm actually a big fan of stuff like that. Like, um, if I'm just out and about in the world, just kind of exploring, I'll go to like a random bar or something. Maybe not even have, maybe I'll have like one drink. But I also just like playing the whatever games they have there. I love hopping into a game of pool or like chess or stuff like that. I think that's one of the funnest things you can do in life. Just kind of hop into a quick game of whatever people are doing. It's a good way to have a little competition and maybe just talk to someone real quick. Maybe make a new friend. Well, hold you know on! I mean? Recently, our Pathfinder Circle has also been organizing a major event, taking advantage of the momentum from the war dance. Not just for those in the La Fu. Many of our like minded brethren on other Sienjo ships have also come. You may have seen our ad we put out in the papers. You should join if you're interested. If you join up, our first major event will be considered a wild success. I'll participate if I have time. Fantastic! Looking forward to it! <laughs> Who would have like thought voice actor for that you'd be so is. immensely popular <laughs> in some weird circle? She's very enthusiastic. D popular in weird circles? I actually am kind of like that. Like, I can walk into some places and I'll be like, Hey, I know at least one person here that I can kind of just talk to. It's a nice... I think it's a good trait to have. Is this the friend that you mentioned, Luca? Pleased to finally meet you. I keep seeing you in the news. My name is Chingche, a diviner from the Divination Commission. Miss Lynx has told me everything. She also said she found some rare antique that she hopes I can fix. At first glance, I knew it was a Jade Abacus. And an old model from centuries ago, too. Out of curiosity, I accepted the job to restore the data inside it. You actually accepted a job without resistance? <sighs> Nothing gets past you. You know that the Master Diviner has returned to the Yuchai on business? Before she departed, she left me with a mountain of data, spreadsheets, and even more data and spreadsheets. My eyes were seeing stars. Now that such an opportunity has fallen into my lap to restore an important historical document, strictly speaking, taking this job doesn't count as slacking off. And I might even get to unveil a fascinating tale. Why wouldn't I take the job? And I've actually already restored part of the information. But Link said that you have to be the first one to look at it, because the owner of this Jade Abacus is your idol. She's right. Thank you, Lynx. Let's play the recording, then. Trust me. With your skills, you'll surely make a name for yourself if you join the Interstellar Circuit. Prize money, fame, things others can't achieve in a lifetime, all within your reach. Of course I'd be thrilled to win, but what I truly hope for is that people will listen to my post-match speech. I know what you're thinking. I've heard about your home's plight. Honestly, many worlds have been attacked by Nanook's mad legion. So I must remind you, the audience paid good money to watch a thrilling show. They're not interested in your words of woe and weal. Igor. You sure are a miracle. For a competitor hailing from a frontier planet to get into the final at Pier Point, it's something only a handful have achieved. So cheer up a little. I'm just a plaything for their entertainment. Look at what I've had to do. Severing my perfectly good arm and replacing it with an IPC prosthetic. All to make the matches more dangerous and thrilling. If mom saw me in this state, 
She would be heartbroken. If your mother saw the prize money you won, she'd understand. Can my prize money buy me an army? If you want to buy a mercenary army outfitted with standard gear, you'd have to defend your champion's title at least 20 times and accept countless endorsements. Can you last that long? Can your home? Anticipated. Igor left his home planet before the Antimatter Legion invaded. When he participated in all the fighting tournaments across the cosmos, he would address the audience with a speech after he won, hoping that would raise awareness about the Antimatter Legion and save his planet. He really was an extraordinary person. Alas, the cosmos is infinitely vast. Easily drowning out one planet's meek cry for help. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have spoken so flippantly about a fascinating tale earlier. It's all right. This is a chapter in history that's already happened anyway. Regardless, to be able to hear Igor's actual voice after seven centuries... <sighs> ...makes me more than happy. This section of information doesn't mention the Sienjo Alliance at all. They wonder how he fought his way to the Law Fu. Anyway, this is all the content that's been restored so far. I should be able to salvage some data, but I'll need a couple of days. Perhaps the subsequent data will be able to tell us why he arrived on the Sienjo. We'll contact you if there are any new findings. I'll stay at the Divination Commission for now. There are some other matters I have to handle besides restoring the Jade Abacus. I'll try my best to restore the data in the Jade Abacus, but it'll take some time. You go back first. I'm gonna take a stroll along the streets. You know what? Just going for a nice walk is sometimes a great thing you can do. Just clear your head a bit, see what's going on around you. I'm actually going to be doing that in a few minutes here, because I need it. Uh, I'll accompany you. That doctor you. advised me to walk Unless around the town and see more of the sights. I'd actually prefer to do If I can walk along the streets time, alone a few more times, yeah, I might be able to I'm conquer my fear of the big city. Uh, this place scared the heck out of me when That's I first got here. Uh, see, I'm not afraid of exploring new places. <laughs> After all, like, in the future, all. I'll have to be excited. like Igor. Competing all over the cosmos for Bellabog. I can't keep getting spooked and hallucinating all the time. <laughs> I'm actually really liking um, Luca's character arc. Seems a big tough guy, but even he gets <sighs> like spooked and has some mental issues. Again, the streets in this big city all look the same. I just want to enjoy a cup of tea. Why is it so difficult? Isn't this a great opportunity to practice asking for directions? Let's ask this guy. Yeah, he's like a great fighter and stuff, but he maybe has a little social anxiety. Excuse so, me! I totally get that. Little bro? Uh, I'm not sure how old you are. Can I call you little bro? Hmm? Uh, that's maybe not the best thing, sir. If you're not one of long life species, then I guess we're around the same age. Is there something you need? I'd like to ask, uh, how can I get to the sleepless Earl? I guess maybe he's going through a bit of culture shock, though, too. It's like, yeah, you don't, you don't know who you're talking to here. <laughs> Go straight until Starwatcher Avenue. Keep to the right, and you'll see a storyteller performing on your way. That's where the sleepless Earl is. Thanks, little bro. Really sorry for the trouble. It's my first time visiting another civilization. It's normal to feel a little uncomfortable when you're so far from home. If you need any help, just ask. Yeah, so, culture shock, where are you from? Maybe. I'm from Bellabog. 
Oh, uh, we've only recently reestablished connections with the cosmos, so you might not have heard of it. Pelabog? I've heard of it from others. No wonder your metal arm looks so awesome. Master, you must be here to compete in the war dance, right? <laughs> Master? Ah, you flatter me. Uh, my name is Luca. I'm here to compete in the war dance. I hope to make a name for myself by successfully challenging the ringmaster of the Xianzhou Luo Fu. Well, you're talking so to the right guy. Everyone will know the name Bellabog. You want to challenge the ringmaster of the Luo Fu? You want to challenge Yan Qing? <laughs> it seems like our stars are aligned. You're also here to compete in the war dance? Are you? Also here to challenge the one named Yen Qing? This is very funny dialogue here. <laughs> I guess, as a warrior, I always have to keep challenging myself. Yeah, I agree. Warriors have to keep challenging themselves and strong enemies. If you stop moving forward and get scared by the enemy in front of you, all past battles become meaningless. To be able to represent the Xianzhou Lo Fu. This Yen Qing must truly be a legendary fighter. <laughs> I'm not feeling so now sure of myself now that I think about than it. You think. I feel the same as you whenever I stand in the ring. Although I am confident in the skills that I've honed I'm over the years through my hard work, honestly speaking, there's always that nagging uncertainty about how good my opponents might be. It's like fear sneaks in and messes with my confidence. <laughs> uh, I've got a little trick that can help you conquer your pre-match anxiety. Find an empty place and scream the name of your opponent until you truly believe that you can beat the enemy you fear. <laughs> what an interesting trick. Okay, I'll give it a go. <clears throat> I will be victorious. The last one standing in that ring can only be me. I, Luca, will definitely win. I will defeat Yen Ching. <laughs> Come on, let me hear you shout. Let's pump ourselves up. Uh, <laughs> me too. Come, shout with me. Like how Yan Ching is. Like keeping his cards close to his chest. Yen Ching! That's a big tip. I will defeat Yen Ching. Yen hey, Ching sometimes maybe you have to defeat, defeat yourself. Me. Sometimes your biggest enemy can be Yen yourself, Ching right? Won't defeat me. You're right! All that shouting made me feel much more confident. See? I wasn't lying. Although I haven't seen much of the world, I do have a lot of experience fighting. I hope this helps. Thank you, Luca. It's late. I have to go prepare for my match. Oh, my friend, you haven't told me your name. Oh? Oh? <laughs> You can call me Lung Oh, Fung. he didn't say it. <laughs> In the Xianzhou language, it means an icy blade. May fate bring us together again. He really Luka. is hiding his cards close to his chest. Lung Fung. Now that's a really cool name for such a cool person. Uh, is Luca back yet? Let's head back to the lounge and take a look. Alright, I'll do a bit more of this here, and then probably gonna have to sign off for the night. Well, maybe you don't have to, but... Eh. I can't stream for super long, so I don't burn out. Unless I'm, like, really into it, which I kind of am, honestly. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Such a little thing bursting with so much wondrous ability. Jeanzu is certainly full of surprises. Uh, <laughs> you sure learn quick. 
I hope this test speaker took a nap just now. When I dreamt I was fighting a battle, it was super real. It was against the giant cockroach three meters long. Oh, God. Wait, hopefully you took it out. Because this test speaker used for combat training? Really? Let me try. Hmm, maybe it's because I'm sick and that somehow I triggered the test for special trait? Maybe it doesn't work on you. I don't know, you should give it a shot. Dude, I will. Tusper stares at you blankly when it's about to doze off. Dude. Ugh. Never underestimate the power of just, like, hugging something and letting some emotions out. Doesn't matter what, it's just, like, a nice hug goes a long fucking way. Spe at least for me. And I think it does for everyone. <laughs> One can experience hyperelastic battle in their dreams by hugging it to sleep? What kind of Paniconian daydream is this? Hold the Tuspear in arms and enter the dreamland. You pick up the Tusper, sit on the floor and close your eyes. You're ready to experience this fabled dreamscape combat training. A slight problem though. You aren't sleepy at all right now. And even if you are, you can't possibly go to sleep under the eager gaze of your friend Luca, can you? Something's off. A sudden wave of drowsiness hits you and your consciousness starts drifting away. The Tusk Beer sure is a wondrous creature. Yeah, dude, I could use one of these things. Just knock me out. Suck out my emotions make me realize what I'm feeling. Sounds great. Okay. Err. Yeah. Okay. Participate in Dreamscape training to issue challenges against higher difficulty ringmasters. Every time you pass a face-off match, you can unlock new dreamscape training. Okay, okay. Right. While in dreamscape training, you are unable to obtain vibes through actions. Only by performing highlights can you gain vibes and the super hype stuff. I think I'm remembering how this shit works. Kind of. Uh. Yeah, so I still have a lot to do in this event. Like, a lot, a lot. You can probably knock it out fairly quickly, but... Um... Oh man, I don't want to fight Topaz. Dude, I'm, I'm still kind of upset I missed out on Topaz's banner. Just got slacked and I didn't play the game enough. I could have absolutely pulled her. Should have been great on my team. And uh, also... <coughs> I also think... She might be the most my type of any character in the game. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. I mean, look at those thighs. I mean, what? I didn't say anything. Okay. So, San achieve highlights during the matches to accumulate vibes into the super hypes. They inflict weakness break. Defeat enemies. So, we're going for break. Probably want to use my Firefly team. That's like my super break team. Or we just use all the trial characters do like one two three and then like uh i don't know run may never hurts to have on a team she's kind of op let's see with three performance po uh let's see yeah i'm not it's been a while since I've even done this, and I haven't really done much of it. I'm not entirely sure what character I want to fill the team out with. Because Acheron's going to be the hyper character. This guy is going to be like a healer. Maybe? Like, and several so, so sub deep. I guess probably Ron May. Oh, and then this. All allies get earlier veil last during the effect period after every attack. All enemies. And, um, maybe not. Maybe well. Or should I just use a team I already have built? It probably wants me to use the trial characters, like they're probably the best ones used for it. Or I could just use a team I already have freaking established. Like it could just go like here, 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 here. Uh, um, after the next time, characters have ultimate action is immediately advanced forward. See, I don't always like having characters or er, actions advanced forward. It kind of messes up the flow of the team, if you know what I mean. 
Applies burn shot, bleed, and wind shear on all enemies. And that's more of like a dot team, which I don't really have any good characters for. Huh. Let me see. That only stacks 20% extra damage, though. Okay, maybe I... Maybe I will just use my fucking break team, honestly. Or I could use... I really could just use the trial characters in Ron May, and that would probably be fine. I'm just not super familiar with how this guy and don't remember his name, but I, I I know him. He's a very cool character. I don't really remember what these two do is the thing. Um. Yeah, maybe I'll just try it with my usual team. Although maybe I'll replace it with a Venturine instead of Gallagher. No, Gallagher benefits from weakness break, too. And... This would be good with Firefly. You know... Yeah, it wants me to use the trial characters. Let's... Let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Er, uh. One, two, three, four. Let's just try it. Oh, well, if, yeah, if it's just recommended. Yeah, let's just go with those then. Okay, let's just give it a try. I mean, might as well be a good um, opportunity to learn what... To really learn what Silver Wolf and... I'm ashamed I don't remember his name. He's to a crack. really cool character. And, dude, I love Silver Wolf. She might be actually one of the characters I have like a big crush on. <laughs> um, let's see. And I think, yeah, her ability implants a weakness on him, right? It's probably better just to make this guy. Time for fun. <laughs> How about letting the enemy strike first? Okay. I'm being honest, man. Jackie, I don't remember what you do. Just fire damage. Um, yeah, just skill do. Just fire damage. Blast. To inflict ash and roast. Okay. Let's see. I'm just kind of speed reading this real quick. You're just kind of debuffing everyone. Kind of just debuffing everyone. So, let me see, though. Uh... But you want to have the... So it looks like you want to stack stuff. This inflicts them and then... Yeah, that just does some damage and enables you to have more stacks. Okay, and then it's burning them. Okay, so it looks like he just burns people, increases their vulnerability, and does increased damage. So I thought he was actually a. Well, and it's like, story and lore, he's a healer, but... It doesn't look in combat, he actually does healing, does he? Hang on. Let's 
Looks like he actually just kind of does DPS. Alright, um... Let's just try it, I guess. A little more heat. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before the food? Actually slow down the combat a little bit because I want to see the animations of all the characters and stuff. And then I think I know how Acheron works, kind of. I'm just gonna do a attack here. There's more to life than drawing breath. Eternal melody. Long maze buff up, of course. It's always good. We can do this. Get a macaron. I weep for the departed. Dust spring. It too shall fall. I, wasn't I supposed to get skill points from these fools? Performance points? Okay. Um. So. Deciding if I want to spend. If I want to spend my skill points. So it looks like. Jeffrey has his buffs up. And if I want to implant. Uh. Probably don't need Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. Huh. More enemies. Can just attack. <laughs> and see here's the thing. I don't know if I should be using his blast ability or not. Might as well a little more. <laughs> Still have a skill point here. Yeah. You'll do. This. This, this combat this, needs optimizing. This. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Every petal in life's got will be swept away by the wind of time. So it should be okay, probably. Ow. Alright, I think I'm seeing how this works. So yeah, he creates like a puddle around and debuffs them. Alright, and they already have weaknesses. They Attack, and then maybe a blast. Let's add more season. I'm honored by your presence. And that wore off. So Since you're again. already here, why not have a meal before the I still prefer adding fuel to the this fire. This combat needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. I weep for the departed. Near. Dude, Akron's so cool. Dust rain. The two shall fall. <laughs> I to do this one. Let's let them finish their turn. You are doomed here. to fail. Now we do Every this. petal in life's garden will be swept away by the wind of time. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here. Why not have a meal before the Alright, now we can maybe speed it up and see all the animations I want. 
Another journey begins. Justice for oblivion. Plenty of skill points to use. The eternal breeze will bury you. But I'm not sure how well I'm actually doing. Judgment of eternal winter! Again. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have the sustain to actually pull this off. Uh and these um they're just better buddies. Okay. I was thinking maybe I should be taking out the ads. Huh. Um, let me do this. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. You are doomed to fail. Exactly your since you're already here. Why not have a meal before you leave? Maybe I'm not reading the rules right or something. I'm still waters of oblivion. Free will, or was it fate? Destiny for oblivion. More enemies. Time for a bun. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. Tremble before my power. This combat needs up. This is double speed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. That's half the work. This combat needs optimizing. This is double speed. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Every petal in life's got all will be swept away by the wind. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to defeat this wave, but we will see what we can do. I'm still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Devoured by eyes, yeah. feel the fruit. <laughs> I weep for the departed. It's not quite doing enough. Just for oblivion. Freeze to death. All will eventually rest. <laughs> There's more to life. Existence is unity. Right How about letting me. the enemy strike first? <laughs> what more she do? A world devoured by ice. This will be your very <laughs> ground. <laughs> Usually when you wipe out the it's like on the Enjoying yourself? Freeze to death! <laughs> Let me see though. Maybe, yeah. So you need to beat all three. Um, let's see. Might as well just claim these, I guess. Okay. So what we're gonna do. We're just gonna try again with my main Firefly team after I go take a quick piss. I'm probably gonna just beat Topaz here for a second. And then, yeah, the, I guess how you unlock it is by defeating all three, I would think, right? Maybe? No, okay, maybe you don't have to. But I do have to pee real quick. Give me just a second. 
Um, be right back.
I lost sound somehow. Just a second here. Let's go this. How did my sound just go? That was weird. I left to go clean up the kitchen and take use the restroom for like two seconds, and my headphones just, while they were still connected, decided to quit playing sound. But uh, I reconnected them. Think we're good. Go back to gameplay. Open my eyes. Okay, I think we're back at least for a bit here. Yeah, I definitely want to defeat the first challenge. And then I'm probably going to go for a walk real quick, because I need to clear my head before I go insane a little bit. And that's a good way to do it. Want some dinner? It's going to be a good night. Okay. Um, oh, well, I guess, yeah, I didn't even need to beat um, all three stages. I did my best, I guess. Defeating all three stages, I'm sure, will get me some good rewards, so I'm going to go and try it later, of course. But let's see. Uh, what's that? You dozed off an instant just now. How was it? Did you get to see any hyper-realistic battle? Uh... <laughs> I like kind of doing the stupid trailblazing. It's like, this is practically a portable pen cone. I keep hearing the name of this place. Looks like we'll have to go visit it too. Um, yeah, pen cone is pretty... It's pretty cool, but it has... It's, uh, it's had its issues for sure. There's kind of a lot of shit going on there. And I'm not sure it's even all fixed yet. Maybe stay here for a while. I don't know if Pentacone is quite the right place for you yet. You've only just started exploring the cosmos. Seems like I can definitely use this cute little tusk for to complete some danger zone training. It's not just Luca. Even you can use this adorable benevolent critter. <laughs> They're putting a lot of words in front of it to make it sound really nice. I'm like, eh. When you make something sound too good to be true, I get a little suspicious. To simulate really challenging combat scenarios while dreaming. I mean, if it's in a dream, what's the harm? You say that, but that's what was wrong with Pentacone. Because they're taking over all your dreams and shit. Anyway. Ugh. The Tusker is an exceptionally gentle animal that loves helping humans out. I guess so. I guess so. It's a little therapy animal. Burr, burr, burr. Okay, and yeah, it's getting a little bit late here, and I've screened, well, maybe I'll stream a little bit longer. I'm not quite that tired yet. The break is over. Contest Contestant Luca, are you ready to keep competing? I can't wait. Let's get this started. Um, I can't stay up too late. Because uh, other people were trying to like wind down for the night, but I might go for maybe another half hour, maybe. Strong maybe. I might wrap it up in just like a few minutes here. Hold on. Let's look at the point, the opponent information for the next face-off match first. Ooh, Boot Hill. Uh. Hmm. Could be a difficult opponent. This is a dangerous opponent. 
Although Boot Hill's very, like, single targeted. Like, if we can have one character act as just a tank for him, he does he can't really do that much. You know what I mean? Dude, I love Boot Hill. I wish he was a bit better. Because I, I like to use him on my um, break team occasionally still. Just because he's, like, super fun to play. I think he's a really cool character with a cool story. He looks cool. Um, like, all his effects in battle are super cool looking. Very great character. And he was, like, probably one of the first big, like, five-star characters that I pulled and got super excited for. And unfortunately, Firefly was right after him, and she was just, like, way better. And also has a really cool story. So I kind of looked over him. I'll probably end up leveling him, or, like, gearing him more eventually. But he's kind of third-rate um, character that I'm trying to actually focus on at the moment. Anyway, let's take it. So I'm going to start with the knockout match to gain enough points. And we can look at this stuff. of these, I guess. Sure. Initiate challenge. The name of the next opponent is the tri the Tridis of Zooming. Just from the name, it seems like a nickname of some big shots. Do you guys know anything about the opponents? No idea, dude. I heard through the grapevine that the Tridis of Zooming comprised a tree of civilian martial artists from the Zooming. Although these three might not be top tier masters, do not underestimate them. Uh, can they beat me, bitch? Probably not. You're kind of overpowered. <laughs> uh, well, Trailblazer by herself isn't that overpowered, but. The Tritus of Zhuming. After some appreciation, this name sounds like. sounds quite impressive. It's time to go meet them in the arena. Yeah, let's get it going. Chief highlights, commit, but yeah. Um, attack wings, broken enemies. Yeah, so it really does look like I just want to go for goddamn break team. Oh, which Boot Hill's actually good at. Yeah. Oh, this team actually looks great. And then we can throw in a venture. This actually looks perfect. And we'll just go with whatever recommended ones are, honestly. Let's do it. Let's get him. Hang on, just a second. Let's see. <clears throat> Dear spectators, welcome back to the Luminary War Dance Knockout Match Arena. The two sides in this match are Lucas, Lucas Strongarm, against the Tridus of Zhuming, Decelerate, Devalu, and Delight. Nice outfits, dude. Where can I get one of those? That's kind of sexy. Look, Luca, all three of us admire your fighting spirit. Oh, thanks, dude. Unfortunately, it's as far as you'll go. Oh, we'll see about that. I'm pretty confident here. D-Light, stop laughing. You're making us look like villains. <laughs> All right. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, I just can't hold back. <laughs> Please don't mind him, Luca. He's not mocking you. He just naturally likes to cackle. 
Okay, I get it, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry. He won't be cackling much after this. Yeah, I feel like with this team, we're gonna kick their ass. This is what I admired about you. Bring it. Ha 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 ha. Stop. Oh, what's a Gen... Genzo Perfect? Stop fucking laughing. When enemies receive break damage, they are afflicted with one stack of vulnerability. Focusing attacks on enemies with the highest vulnerability stacks to deal higher damage break damage. Yeah, and that's what Boothill excels at, is kind of just focusing down one enemy at a time. Deal break damage to enemies and trigger highlights to get massive vibes. More vulnerability stacks are inflicted on the enemy. The more vibes will be gained. When your team's vibes reach the maximum limit in the match, your team will enter the super hype state. In this state, your opponent will be weak and broken damage they take will increase by 400%. Alright, let's see if we can do it. I'm feeling pretty good. Come on, let's do this. Which one to attack first? Does it really matter? I mean, this one looks like it's buffed, so we probably want to break it. Let's do it. I also love that with Boot Hill. You don't know. Um, there's actually a cool reason in his animation there why his uh, six shooter he loads the last one into before firing. It's actually a accurate thing. Still not ready yet. With how Cowboys actually did stuff. In like, so if you have, I wonder if I can even like pull it up. Maybe I don't need to pull up pictures, but his revolver I assume is modeled after a Colt Action Armor, which is the most classic revolver you see in like movies and stuff. And the those old school revolvers don't really have safeties, so if you have them fully loaded and the hammer is like over a bullet. And you accidentally like drop your gun or something accidentally hits it, it could go off and shoot you in the foot. So, or like in the leg or whatever. So, cowboys would always leave one chamber empty and the hammer over that one. So, in case the gun gets dropped or it takes like an impact from something else, it won't accidentally misfire. So, and then when they're actually ready to draw and go into a gunfight, they load the last bullet and then start going. So, it's a cool little detail that I really like about his character. And it makes him look cool. He goes like, yeah, bring it on! Loads the last bullet in. Anyway. There's oh, more to life. Why did that, like, laugh? Okay. Existence is unity. Stay in step. <laughs> I should attack the other one. Get Spend shields freely. up. There's no reason to those with the most gun for those who take the little grave. Grace and elegance. Dreams do come true. Let's look at that. There's multiple. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Stay away. Rhythm get messed Every up. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. Let's improvise. Grace and elegance. <laughs> it's on me. All the dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I'm not busting. Not yet. Bring it on. There's your reward. Watch your head. The dice have been cast. Make sure I have my old small order, so we're gonna go bust. first. He's gonna or be busted. Or maybe I'll take it off. The mood is set. Just let the show begin. Trailblazer and Long Man buffs up. Every yeah, petal like in life's garden. The trial characters, I, was, I saw them. I was oh, this is like the ideal team. By by the this is a team I regularly play. There's no reason with you bunch anymore. Those with the most gun. Those ridiculous grave. I hit the mark. Spend freely. Take your positions. 
Dreams do come true. Eternal. All you stand still. <laughs> Might have missed a little bit. Huh? Rhythm get messed up. <laughs> There's more to life. Them get messed up. Let's improvise. Looking at my turn. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Yeah, obviously, I could just auto battle, but I don't like to do that while I'm streaming if I'm not just farming. Huh. Actually, kind of play the game. Dreams Let's do still. come true. Hedge your bets. It's on me. Shield up. Waiting in line for a bullet. Bring it on. Turns up. Maybe save his ultimate until they recover. Yeah. Let's see. Let's do this. The mood is set just this. right. This. Let the show begin. I knew I shouldn't have used um, this quite. The dice have been cast. Bus. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. There's no reasoning with you bunch anymore. Those with the loaded gun. Those who dig the little grave. Every petal and all will be swept like away by the wind. Let's improvise. Existence is unity. There's your reward. Alright. Nice. Yeah, that's just a solid team right there. That's like a... That's like an archetype meta super break team. You three really have great moves. I've learned a lot from this battle as well. Thank you. No, no. The pleasure was ours. We've learned a lot from this. We hope to be able to spar with you again once we've improved our skills. Of course. I can't wait. Ha 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 ha. I can't take this. Yeah, shut up, dude. You have like a nervous tick or something? Maybe you have like Tourette's? I mean, that's okay, but... The seller it gives a karate chop to Delight, whose laughter abruptly ceases as he faints to the ground. <laughs> Sorry, we'll teach him a lesson once we get back. Haha, <laughs> no biggie. Exchanging moves is a happy occasion. It's normal to have a laugh. Yeah, I love friendly competition. After a lively and cheerful duel, the winner of this march match has... <laughs> Let me change Announce this. After a lively and cheerful duel, the winner of this match has finally emerged. Let us congratulate Luca Strongar. I just think I'm gonna do maybe one more, maybe one more. I, I don't want to stop playing yet. It is getting a little late, so I probably only have time for like one or two more. Probably can't go past 10 o'clock here. But yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Contestant Luca, Coach Revit. Coach me. Greetings to you both. I'm a representative of the organizing committee for this year's Luminary War Dance. I'm familiar. I have a friend who's done a bunch of it, or a couple friends. May I ask if you have some time right now? What is it? Contestant Luca, we have an invitational match. Challenge for you from another contestant. Oh, was it like sort of an exhibition sort of thing? The contestant's name is Shojin. We'll send you his info shortly. What's an invitational match? Hmm. 
You may be unfamiliar with our competition formats. Hang on. I hate that I can't scroll up while stuff is still typing. Like, I don't have time to read it all in one go. Let it all get typed out. Give it a second, I'll go read through it all. Oh my god, there's so fucking much. Holy shit. Shut up for a second. I have to read all this crap. You may be unfamiliar with our competition formats, so please allow me to explain. This year's Luminary War Dance features not only the traditional knockout and face-off matches, but also special bouts known as invitational matches. Put simply, during the process of the war dance, contestants have the right to send challenge invites to one to other contestants for a one-on-one -on -one duel. Now this is an opportunity to get my name out there and get my ranking up. Of course, there are also great risks involved in failure. Challenges who are unsuccessful will be immediately disqualified from future events. Oh, that is a risk. It is common for a contestant to refuse such challenges. If someone challenges me, does that mean I can challenge other people too? Unfortunately, this is a supportive privilege offered only to lower rank contestants to provide them with more opportunities to compete. Okay, I kind of get that. So, like, people lose, they can try to fight their way back in. On the other hand, being challenged is a recognition of your strength. True, though. I don't know if that's fair or unfair. I mean, it seems fair. You can not do it if you want, but you might look like a pussy if you die. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll take a look at the files. Furthermore, I have been asked by Miss Topaz of the IPC to extend an invitation to collaborate with you. Oh, I'll do anything from Miss Topaz, dude. Sign me up. Um, shall we ask what this is about? I, my instinct was telling me not to deal with people from the IPC. What? No, I want to collaborate with Topaz. Topaz is like the only good of the Stone Hearts, dude. Miss Topaz indicates that she would like to meet with you both in Aramali. Oh, and I love Aramali. She know. Topaz knows how to get to me, dude. It's like my one of my favorite locations in the game. And one of my favorite characters. Were they willing to work with her or not? That is all the information I have for you. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I will absolutely meet with Topaz. Yeah, let's uh, let's navigate there. She's one of the ten Stone Hearts, after all, and she's probably the only one that isn't a goddamn snake. Our opponent Shoujin appears to be a fighter using Shenzhou ancient martial arts. His combat history suggests he's not particularly formidable. Okay. You should be able to take on this challenge with confidence. Understood. Still, I never underestimate any opponent. Also, are you sure you won't consider partnering with the IPC for business? Um, it's not off the table. I'm not sure. I personally don't want to agree to it, but I don't know if it's wise to refute it. Right. Um, I can see we ha I can see why Luca has a conniption with working with the IPC, but they're not all bad. Topaz is definitely one of the good ones in the IPC. I'm leaning towards declining this business partnership, but whether I refuse to agree or agree to it, it seems right to give a response in person. Coach, can you head over to Aramali with me? Of course. I love that place. Yeah, let's maybe do this meeting real quick, and then I probably should be, be getting offline after that. But I can't say no to Topaz. Also, it's Topaz. She's one of the ten stone hearts. One of the most powerful people in... One of the most powerful people in probably the most powerful organization in the galaxy. I get the feeling she won't take no for an answer. Anyway, slice it. Like, she'll meet up with you eventually, you know. 
And also, I really like her, so, yeah. <clears throat> Let me just make sure I'm not staring too much or blushing or anything. Hi, to hi Topaz. Hi. Hi, um, how, how are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you again. Hello, Miss Topaz. Even though we are acquainted, I have formally expressed my intention to collaborate with you through the committee. Investment department would like to hire Luca as our brand ambassador, working closely with him across our entire product line. Oh, get a sponsorship from the RPC? Dude, take that. Sell out. This role would boost Luca's visibility. Luca Stronger could become, become a name featured on billboards throughout the cosmos. Then Bellabog, as the hometown of a superstar, would certainly attract more development opportunities. This endorsement benefits both Bellabog and the IPC. It does sound promising. Dude, and Topaz pretty much saved your little six and Bellabog from becoming totally just taken over by the IPC. Like, she fought for you guys to still be independent. She really did. She's one of the good ones. Absolutely. My principle has always been to ensure our partners get real tangible benefits. She's definitely a person you want on your side. May I take a moment to think this over, if that's okay? Take all the time you need. This invitation is offered in the spirit of mutual benefit and goodwill. I hope you can set aside your previous impressions of the IPC and build deeper trust through this collaboration. I'm sorry, but I have to decline your... Luca? Luca. Your trust appears to be precious, and you're not willing to give it away to the IPC lightly. No, Miss Topaz. I deeply trust your intentions. Having clashed against you before, I can confidently say you are trustworthy. But my initial reason for competing was to showcase Spellbog to the entire universe. Partnering with the IPC might make me doubt the purity of my actions. But dude, it's a start to get your name out there like big time. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess I can see where he's coming from. While I trust your intentions, I'm not sure if Bellabog is ready to accept the IPC's offer. That's actually true. I don't know how his home planet would receive it, though, is the thing. Hmm. But it's something to keep on the table, I guess. Or how we should accept that offer. I can't make a decision right now. That's actually good to think through before you, like, sign a contract. Thank you for your honesty. If you change your mind, feel free to let me know anytime. Oh, by the way, I heard you accepted the challenge from that fighter, showed you. Are you referring to the Invitational match? Why bring this up all of a sudden? Just a heads up from Observer. Be careful. That guy has plenty of dirty tricks. Thanks for the heads up. I'll keep that in mind. Coach, we should head back to the lounge now. Topaz, I would have accepted your offer, I'm just saying. <clears throat> Alright, <clears throat> I wasn't looking at anything. <sighs> dirty tricks? I've come across some fighters like to rely on dirty tricks in my days in the ring. Like one guy who always snuck laxatives with home drinks. Oh, that is dirty. Better keep an eye on your water bottle then. Haha, <laughs> coach, I'm coming in to keep a close watch. But you gotta keep an eye on your own water bottle, dude. That's not my problem. Are you really joking right now? Look up, we've got a serious situation. What's going on? Take a deep breath and tell us slowly. I brought a newspaper from the arena. Take a look. Ah, oh, damn it. Of course the press would know we talked. Luca meets ten stone hearts in secret. His secret thunder twist. What? We did. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. A good citizen actually. 
accidentally filmed the Luminary War Ant Star consistent Lucas Strongarm secretly meeting Topaz, a high level executive of the International Peace Corporation Strategic Investment Department in Aram Alley. Yeah. Experts suspect, uh, suspect that the IPC's show of goodwill to Luca this time is yet another trap by them to deal with the Yellow 6 problem. That's not what it's like, guys. Come on. I mean... Okay, let's spin it this way. You know what they say. Any press is good press if you just spin it the right way. It's not how it is, guys. It's not how it is. Taking IPC money. Hero or hypocrite? I haven't taken any money from them. Let's be unbeguilingly, manifestly real. Most of the star contestants in the war dance ceremony have some business dealings with the IPC for endorsements. Yeah, probably. But none are a shamelessly two-faced look. What? Guys. Guys. Do you know the other Stonehearts? Topaz would be the one to actually even make a deal with. He crafts this image of an anti-IPC hero while happily while pocketing their dirty money. Topaz helped Bellabog a lot. She cut a deal to, like, kind of save us. Only a bunch of fools still he see him as a hero. Oh, come on. All right. Luca, uh, that comes with you being in the spotlight. You're going to have some bad press, I guess. We'll work this out, all right? Beloved sports star exposes IPC lackey. Insiders have disclosed that Topaz was once in charge of Gorilla 6 debt, debt issues. Yeah, she was. And she solved them. Very well. Well, Luca was a key member and top fighter of the Underworld Illegal Organization. Okay. okay. Okay, fine. Yeah. But that was before the Underground and the Overground united. It is not hard to imagine that during her handling of the Gorilla 6's debt issues, Topaz came into contact with Luca and subsequently recruited him as an IPC mole. Not a mole. We barely... Okay, Lu let's see. Luca and her barely met. Check online. There's a lot of buzz about Luca being an IPC puppet. It's causing quite a stir. Apart from the fact that the content might be fabricated. Yes, it is. I just met with Miss Topaz less than a system hour ago. How did Capulch so cook it? Ah, dude. Media moves quick. The speed of information flow here is different. <sighs> Even though I already kind of guessed it, this is the first time I've truly realized how terrifyingly fast news can spread here. Yeah. No, no, no. This isn't just about how fast information spreads. These reports and interviews were clearly not whipped up at the last moment. They're the result of a premeditated malicious report. Ah, oh, someone's trying to take me down. Huh? But they didn't know about my meeting with Miss Topaz, did they? It couldn't possibly be Miss Topaz behind Oh. I don't think... Shit, maybe she would do that to try to convince you to join. She... While she is the best of the Stonehearts, the most trustworthy, I wouldn't put it past her to try to do this. Try to pull it. Try to pull some strings to get you to join. It could... No, it's unrelated to Miss Topaz. Okay, my fear is to leave you. Capacity has no reason to do this. Yeah. I think they have bigger stuff to worry about. <sighs> First of all, this has likely prepared multiple versions of the report and was just waiting for the right opportunity. And it's another competitor, I'm sure. It might be the dude we're about to face. They say he used dirty tactics. If you hadn't met with Miss Topaz, they probably would have opted for a different report. Luca, did you make an enemy? Why else would someone go to such lengths to do this? Did you make an enemy? How could I possibly meet an enemy? Oh no! Could speed. Yep, the dirty trick. Yep, I wrote this game. I knew it. It's your next opponent. Miss Topaz, men Topaz mentioned that our next opponent, Shojin, is known for using dirty tricks. This must be his doing. What should we do next? Honestly, there's no good way we can handle the title of public opinion. Yeah, that's a rough one to handle. I'll try to find someone to debunk the rumors, but the speed of debunking always lags behind lies. Yep, misinformation spreads quick, and it's hard to prove it wrong after it's already embedded. He's counting on that to drown you in public opinion. <sighs> so annoying. Yeah, for real, Luca. But it doesn't matter. As long as I can defeat Shoujin fair and square in the upcoming match, the spectators will all see that everything he said was a lie. That's not necessarily true, but... 
That might be a start. Yet, yeah. Luca, things might not turn out the way you hope. Once a negative perception sets in, it's difficult to reverse it. Yeah. Alright, don't be too pessimistic, Miss Carmella. I'm not so easily overcome by dirty tricks. Everything will work out. Kind of with that, though, it's like... You kind of just have to face the tidal wave of that shit a little bit head-on. Gotta start somewhere, and the start is maybe just winning in the ring. I need some air. I'll be back later to discuss this. Um, okay. Do a little bit more. I think I still have a little bit of time, and I'm not, like, too tired yet. <laughs> Looks like contestant Luca needs some time to clear his head. Let's wait for him here. Okay, we will wait. Do you think you can bring me down with mere rumors? Ridiculous. Are words tougher than fists? I think that's what he said at least. Oh god, I can't walk faster than this. Eh. Look, isn't that Luca over there? It is Luca. I was actually his fan. You were? What? No way. Being a former fan of Luca is basically like being a cyber criminal. Oh, come on. Are they talking about me? He's noticed us. Keep it down. Luca. Luca sh sh it looks like we're in a dream bubble here or something, right? Yeah, he's dreaming right now, I think. I knew it was up to no good. Look, that's definitely Luca. Looks like a decent guy. How could he be scheming behind the scenes? I don't think he's bad, just a bit naive. He's from a small town and has a background in martial arts. Probably not the most cultured. He was just as bad. What's the difference? Friends, have I wronged you in any way? Why speak so harshly of me? Oh no, he heard us run. Don't run, let's just talk. Yeah, I'm with you, dude. Can't you just talk stuff out a little bit? Yeah. this He's getting in his own head in a dream bubble or something here. Don't do it, Luca. Isn't that Luca over there? Really? Did you hear about that incident? I heard it was unexpected. Why is everyone discussing me? What exactly did I do wrong? Never thought Luca would be like this. Luca has fooled us all. Luca, 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 Stop. Everyone stop talking. Stop. Just shut up. Shut up. Yep. I'm going to say, you're, you're tripping, bro. Oh, no. It must be the hallucinations acting up again. Luca, how much money did the IPC give you? Tell us about it. I'm taking a single cent. I refuse their offer. The Shtick Investment Division Department has always been coveting Bellabog. Yes, they have. That's why we already cut a freaking deal. Luca, were you planning to take advantage of the opportunity as well? No. Nonsense. Have I ever been disloyal to Bellabog? Sadly, no one will believe you. They will only believe the truth I convey to them. Are you Shojin? Nice to meet you for the first time. We'll probably meet again on the field. Unless you plan to bow out gracefully. Uh, fuck no, bro. I won't drop out. People won't keep being fooled by you. I'll prove myself on the field and they can judge for themselves. No, most people simply adopt others' perspectives as their own. If everyone says you're vile, then they'll believe you're vile. Yeah, this guy's a, he is a real devious one. Don't let him get the better of you, Luca. You keep believing in yourself, alright? You gotta follow your own path. Sure, they did prove me wrong with your fists, the only way you know how. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're doing the fight now. <laughs> I thought we were coming to do it later. Small fry. 
Alright, just a second here. Better throw a punch, or it'll be curtains, friend. This music is kind of slapping though, huh? Alright, just a second. This music kind of rips, doesn't it? Although, I could probably say that about uh, most music in this game. Not like all. Oh, I wish I could go free cam and see, like, what else? Just withdraw already. Virtuous. Live. Yeah, see, this guy, I feel like he, like, drugged Luca somehow. <laughs> He's trying to get in your head, trying to um, focus on not even your weaknesses, but just things you're conscious about. That's not cool, man. We gotta take him down. Okay. Thing is, uh, I don't even remember putting this team together. I don't remember how they're supposed to be working. I don't have a healer. Uh. I might have to, <laughs> I might actually not really win this. Let's see. Um I don't even remember really what Luca does. I think we can just go for a few. Right, his ability. And see through her. Um save the points so one more can use her buff. Some value as eternal. See, I really love turn based games like this ET building. So I can kind of just like explain my thought process of what I'm doing with the team as I go. It makes for good yapping, good stream content. And then just attack here. Um, and I venture forth to hunt forever. Finish house for 30. She's just so cool. She's probably my favorite character to use right now. She's badass, smart, hot. Has cool weapons, a lot of DPS. She's like a genius. But I almost want to go. No time like the present. I wish I could. I wonder if there's a way to replay the whole story of like the. Leading up to the war dance, like Hule escaping the prison and stuff and her hunting him down. She takes Yukong's bow and basically launches like a nuke into the city. Dude, she's so cool. Anyway, I was kind of just thinking and yapping there. Back to the fight. The punch is decided. Looking at if I need to do any buffs. Step out of it. Need a shine. Yeah. Show me what you can do. I'll give you five seconds. Seconds. White tiger. Less cards. Yeah. Yeah. She's like with her. Um, I mean, she was always pretty cool and very cute, but especially with her um, uh, war dance outfit with her blue swords and the whole red stuff going on. She's like just even cooler and even cuter somehow. I probably want to take the axe out of this Oh, I get it! Uh, 
just the bit of bit here. Uh, just stack up fish as buff. Small the fry. I mean. You're cooking. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly. So I wish Luca was just like, better. <laughs> I think his character design and like his fighting and stuff is really Fangs and claws got dull. But unfortunately, he's just not like. Never very good. Oh, well, didn't even need anything else. All right. Yeah, follow-up teams they'll still be pre do still be pretty strong. I don't think they ever really fell off. Luca, I just came to say hello, and you attacked that one. Oh, you. You liar. Scared to fight me for unscoring when you're Hell no. These dirty tricks. You're the one who's doing dirty tricks. Ah, but he's framing us again. Oh no. Exactly. Look at why aren't you playing fair? It's obvious that you're using doodles to provoke me. How did it end up being my lack of sportsmanship? Shojin's the one who got injured. Yeah, you started the fight though. How could it be him taunting me? Are you guys even reasonable anymore? Luca, how do you feel? I'm hallucinating again. This time's pretty serious. Let's get you to Lingsha, maybe. Yeah, let's head to the Alchemist. Way ahead of you. I wrote this game. Don't go. He has no honor. He ambushed me. We haven't sorted this out yet. I think we have. I won already, and I need medical treatment after this. Exactly. Let's sort this out before leaving. Make way, or do you need to discuss with my baseball bat? I'm not a contestant, and I'm not bound by your morals. Yeah, don't mess with the trailblazer. She'll take you out. Or him. Depending on what you chose. It's him who wants to argue, not us. Why are you yelling at us? Everyone, let's just disperse. Let's drop it for today. After all, as a responsible martial artist, you weren't a martial artist at all. You were even in the fight. You're just resorting to, like, trying to drug me. I shouldn't be entangled with the insignificant individuals. Well, wow, nice alliteration, you fucking nerd. Thank you, coach. The crowd disperses and you take Luca to the Alchemy Commission. Yeah, this fucking guy, dude. This fucking guy. Alright, Ningsha. Hello, hopefully you can help us out here. Revit and Luca, here you are. Luca, has the test proven healthy to you? It has. Thank you. That test spirit has been helpful and my sleep quality has improved a lot. Dude, sleep is an important thing, man. You will lose your mind without enough sleep, and that's coming from someone who generally does not sleep very well at all. I've taken measures to improve my sleep, and dude, it, it's so good just having a good night's sleep. You might think, eh, I don't need sleep, I feel totally alert right now. But you do that for like two or three days, and you start to lose your shit. Not even just like... You can't think straight, but for me, if I don't sleep well for a couple days, I will get very annoyed, which is rare for me. I start to get emotional, and I don't want that. Anyway. But today, I had a very strong hallucination. You briefly described your predicament with those days. Hmm. After reading that article, I can't stop overhearing people discuss me on the street. Yeah, you're overthinking stuff, dude. You gotta calm down. Later, I found myself slipping into a hallucination and ended up in a fight. Dude, it's... Uh, I guess maybe what being a celebrity and press might do to you. Heard the tale happen with plenty of celebrities. It's, uh... Your mental health deteriorates kind of rapidly. It's not good. We should be paying more attention to it. I wish I had my hand tracking right now because I'd be pointing right at it and be like, Hey, listen to me. We should be treating this more. Don't worry, it's just the mental stress causing a lot of exhaustion, further intensifying your hallucinations. Yet, you're just stressed out, bro. I say just stressed out, that's not a big thing, but 
It can be hard to get over that, you know? Lingsha had the alchemist bring over an incense burner. She likes the aromatherapy and soothing smoke spreads. Incense can be pretty nice, but I can't use it in my room. Rest here for a bit. Being in a constant state of pre-competition tension isn't good for your health. Okay. You gotta break away from it for at least a few minutes. It feels terrible. It seems like everyone misunderstands me. I try to explain, but they won't listen. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's rough, buddy. What is there to explain? Those who initially believed in you don't require explanations, and those who are determined not to believe won't listen to your, ex won't listen to your explanation. Dude, Link Shot, this is a pretty great quote right here. It's like, don't explain yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. Because the people who already believe in you, you don't have to explain your stuff to. And the people who are judging, you're not going to be able to change their fucking mind anyway. So, you know, fuck it. Let me try to explain. Are we just going to let the public opinion slander like this? Public opinion. It's like the smoke in this incense burning, drifting with the wind. The wind shifts, not all of it blowing against you. That's true, I'm sure you have a bunch of supporters out there. You're just only seeing the negative news. You might think everyone around you is talking about you because you're near the skyscraper arena. But looking at all of the low food, most of them would not know an outworld or boxer pissing in the war dance. Years ago, I faced rumors from the Lofu's Alchemy Commission and had to travel far with my master. I remember that. That's like her backstory. Is, um... The... Her previous... Uh... Person above her, I guess, not really even her master, had a lot of, like, stuff going against him. And that kind of dribbled down to her, but you can't let it all go right to it. Huh. Those issues have dissipated into thin air over time. That's true. The public will forget stuff over time if you just let them. Now, I return to the loaf to oversee the Alchemy Commission. And she's a long way from me, so with her, that took like 50 years, but to her, that's a short amount of time. But she, you know what she's saying, right? Do you mean I should simply fight well in the invitational match and prove myself and my skills? Yeah, dude, honestly, maybe that is the best thing. Just let it blow over. I believe this is the best way you can truly handle rumors right now. Sort of let them all mix together for a bit and let it blow away. Ling Sha, you are very wise. I wish I had pulled for you. <laughs> are you feeling better now? Uh, go back and prayer for the match if you were feeling better. I feel much better. Thank you, Cauldron Master. If only rumors could be dispelled with incense. And with the chokes. Get back to training for the match. Show that rumor spreader what you're made of. You know what, Link Sha? It is actually pretty wise. Okay. Um... As much as I want to continue this, I really should be just going offline here. I didn't think I'd get this engaged in this little, um, this little, like, side story, but I have been going for probably almost six hours here. I think that's a good length of stream, and I want to run an errand or two, have some dinner, and kind of just relax. Ah, finally! Some recognition for training my butt off. Um, if it were really up to me, I'd probably go for another 50, uh, 30. Uh, uh, you know, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. It's a Saturday night. I think I can maybe push it to a bit of a longer stream. And I really do want to. Uh, uh. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. Maybe shouldn't, but I really want to. Oh, especially because these are done now. Yeah, I think I can still have a little bit longer here. It's this patch, some assignments here. This is going towards an event, 
I'm not even sure what's gonna happen with it, but I need to just like finish a certain number of assignments, I guess. Oh, I should be kind of reading these. Wanted, boot hole. Yeah, that's who we're looking for, the invent, huh? Indefinite dispatch ordered for multiple, multiple deliberate acts of sabotage against IPC facilities. <sighs> boot hole poses a serious threat to universal public property safety and is now listed in the IPC's wanted list. Well, the bounty is still being calculated. Please regard the latest results as accurate. Oh, I'm sure Boot Hill has a lot more of a bounty on his head than you are even calculating. He's a uh, he's one of them Galaxy Rangers. Let's see. We are currently developing a big data system that, through analysis of Memoria, can predict Boot Hill's potential hidden allies. Okay, so if I'm remembering right. We Memoria, if I'm remembering, it's your memories. Project currently needs a large number of testers. How can someone as decent looking as you have a 70% chance of helping Boot Hill? I really misjudged you. Wait, why am I 90%? So I think we're sort of collecting just little scrippets of where Boot Hill has been throughout the galaxy. He's a ranger, they pretty much always work alone and he's probably the one who works most alone <laughs> I think we're just collecting data on where he might have been and people he might have known we received a tip off that the wanted fugitive boot hole has been observing a banana peel on the ground for some time fucking bananas he was also muttering curses about some doctor we are currently looking for more insider and sorts that ravel the ongoing mystery as soon as possible. That's not right. The intelligence sent by the IPC said that Buhu likes to munch on bullets. He does eat bullets, that's actually true. Why is he eating bananas now? Could this Buhu be a fake? No, I think he's just... Hmm. Is with bananas and with Rappa. Maybe a couple rangers might be working together for once, or at least kind of looking for each other. You know what I mean. What do we got here? Ooh. Thank you for you level 69. Nice. Thank you for the credits. Okay. Um. Yeah, what time is it? I'm gonna go for just a little bit longer. I know I said that like three times already, but just a li little bit longer. Hey, hi, t hi, Topaz. Hi. How how are you? Hope you're doing great. Is there anything I can offer you? <clears throat> I'm not blushing. Do I, do I look okay, guys? Miss Topaz, what are you doing? I was gonna say, it's like, she's gonna kinda get the deal whatever way she can. I heard about the Shoujin was starting soon. I thought I'd come back. Miss Topaz offers her assistance help you handle the trouble caused by the shoujin. Caused by shoujin. I will gladly take it. We're responsible for this mess, and there's none to involve IPC. Look, dude. Look. She's trying to help you. <clears throat> also, she's from the IPC. They have all the money in the galaxy. This is a lesson I learned kind of early on. If someone's trying to help you in that way, so much, if they're doing it kind of out of the kindness of their own hearts which I'm sure there's some caveats but if they're trying to help you this much just shut up and take it dude if I accept your help Miss Topaz I'll owe you a favor yeah I'm sure she would collect on it but like she would not be unfair about it Aventurine would probably be unfair Jade would definitely be unfair Topaz is one of the good ones 
It would be hard to say no to you later about any business matters. Don't put it that way. I'm not just helping you for not just helping you for your sake, but also for IPC's reputation. If you were merely spreading rumors about you, I wouldn't be involved. But this controversy should not taint my should not taint IPC. That's true, you're both involved. And see, that's the thing. You both have something to gain from taking down this fucking idiot. My intervention is completely justified. You win, I win, he loses, we win. And I certainly wouldn't use a favor to coerce you into doing something you're uncomfortable with. Rest assured. Yep, I trust you on that. Thank you, Miss Topaz, for your consideration. However, I abide my good principles. Understandable, Luca. If I owe a favor, I must repay it. Someone once told me public opinion is like incense smoke. That was like five minutes ago. You're talking about it like it's years. Drifting with the wind. Just wait for the wind to change, and all these rumors will dissipate. Well, it could come up years later. But I think you're mostly right. Right now, I need to prove myself with my fists in the ring. Alright, I understand. I won't insist on you accepting my help. However, if you might offer a piece of seasoned advice, the quickest way to clear the smoke is to put out the fire. That's what we're gonna do. You're right, all storms pass eventually, but waiting takes time, and time is costly. I'm off now. Should you change your mind, remember to call me. Yep, we're gonna put out the fire now by kicking his ass, and then let the smoke dissipate. Luca, I think you should have accepted Ms. Topaz's help. I agree with you, Carmel. Coach, what's your take? You should have accepted her assistance. Trust me, she's, she's a good one. Indeed. How often does one get the opportunity to use resources from the Strategic Investment Department to solve personal problems? Almost never in that. Don't worry, Miss Carmella. Let me secure a victory, then we can discuss the future. Make sure you win! Alright. Not even gonna really look at that. Oh, it's just Luca now? Okay. Alright. Let's do... The match. <laughs> Dear spectators and friends, welcome to the Luminary War Dance Invitational Match. Okay, we can't lose here. I bet it's scripted so that you don't lose, but maybe it's not. We'll see. In this match, the two opposing sides are the rising star, Luca Strongarm. And I'll introduce the inheritor of the Genso Ancient Martial Arts, Shojin. No way, spectator. Oh, fuck you guys. Ah, Luca has been subjected to some faceless hostility from a segment of his fans. Thank you for confirming it's baseless, Albert. But no worries. I'm confident Luca will demonstrate his true capabilities in the competition today. Go, Luca! Baseless accusations? Absolute nonsense. Yeah, dude. No, I'm gonna say nothing. We're just gonna kick his ass. Albert is definitely with IPC. The fact he still speaks well of Luca despite the controversy proves that Luca is just an IPC puppet. I don't think he is, actually. Oh, now he's catching strays? What the fuck? What the heck, guys? I used to think Albert was a decent character, but it turns out he's just another IPC stooge. Ah, uh, if I continue to defend you, Luca, I might have to. And I might end up implicating myself. You're on your own. I understand that, man. Shoji, I don't want to waste words with you. Let my fist show everyone. I am Luca. Just an IPC puppet, or am I a true fighter? Or am I? I messed that up. Ha ha ha. IPC puppet, I won't bend to your intimidation. After you today, Luca. After day. That. After today, you, Luca, will be utterly disgraced. I don't think that's how that's gonna go, my friend. Or you're not. You're not, not my friend. That's not how it's gonna go. 
Ah, uh, he's already using the drugs on Just getting started. Alright. But why is the entire stadium chain for him? He might be using tricks again on me. Better throw a punch, or it'll be curtains, friend. Alright, so main one. He's a master of illusion. He's being like Mysterio shit here. So let's just take out Ash. If only playing one character should be pretty simple. Where's the applause? Let's see some sparks fly! Actually, do kind of want to see his animations. I can't believe Luke is still continuing with the matches, but it, give up now. Yep. You're going nuts, man. Me using them to have the tactics. I think he's messing with you. I could take you one arm only. Need a hand? My pleasure! Small fry. Snap out of it. Where's the applause? An opponent worth their salt. <laughs> Let's see some sparks fly. Yeah, I mean, all the art and animation skin look pretty phenomenal. Like him punching that character it looked very cool. Let him get in your head. Oh, I should be attacking this man. I could take you one arm only. Small fry. Don't get cocky now. Where's the applause? An opponent worth their salt. <laughs> Let's see some sparks fly! Yo, that animation is on. the applause an opponent worth their salt <laughs> let's see some sparks fly there we go yeah I think that was a bit scripted <laughs> of course I do every fighter has like a coach in their corner you fight hard don't you under immense pressure, Luka triumphs over Shoujin in a thoroughly satisfying triumph. Let's give a round of applause for the winner, Luka! Shut up. I thought this war dance was supposed to be fair and just. Who would have imagined there was such riggy? What? How is that riggy? He was the only one on the field. I fought fairly and won. This isn't rigged. There's no rigging. Stop spreading, stop spreading falsehoods. Dear spectators, this isn't rigged. I was simply outmatched and could not withstand Luca's iron fists. I'm sorry to have disappointed my supporters. Thank you for finally admitting it, you dirty. What act are you putting on now? Iron fist of flesh. 
Just thinking about it, it hurts. Luca hit too hard. How can somebody be so cool? I didn't hit too hard. Look, he's still standing. Isn't this supposed to be a fighting arena? He should be able to take a little bit of a beating. It's not like I broke his bones or did too much damage or killed him or anything. Come on. I don't think I'm gonna wrestle. What? You guys are crazy. Look, we don't get away with this. I won the match fair and square. How did it come to this? Luca, it's not safe to stay here. Go quickly, and I'll deal with this. Okay. There must be something bigger going on here. Alright, alright. Let's all calm down. No need to get so upset. How about this? I'll sing a song for everyone. A cover of Sway It's My Beat and Cause. How does that sound? Um, I don't know if that's going to convince him, dude. Moments later, you leave the arena with a disheartened Luca. Okay. With that, I really do actually need to wrap up. It's getting a bit late here. I need to quiet down. Oh, okay. Well, I walked into this by accident. Hang on. <laughs> hey, you and Luca need to watch out. What's wrong? Don't scare me. I saw some news on the net and I'd tell you about it. There are mean comments and rumors out of Luca all over the net at the moment. People are saying that he took a bribe from the IPC and was specifically sabotaging the local Zhanzu competitors. They say that you're hurting the honor of the Zhanzu people, that you're IPC dogs, and some even say they'll hire professionals to come and teach you a lesson offline. Now that seems very, um, very suspicious. They'll hire professionals to come and teach us a lesson? What, do we have like fucking mafia after us or something? Oh boy. This really is rough. That's the internet for you. I know, but you have to tell Luca to paint a positive attitude and not let these rumors affect his performance. Yeah, I've been trying to do that since the beginning. He seems to have some mental issues and is really doubting himself. He's the man who took Shang's Sh hope of victory on his shoulders and kept fighting all this time. Hope they can see this tournament through to the very end. Yeah. He will. I'll make sure of that. Okay, I guess we've got to go through this real quick. And then I'll wrap it up. I won fair and square, but why do things turn out this way? Some of my sources claim that Urello 6 is an instinct planet. See, that's fake news already. But aren't people of Bellbog living well? Yeah, they certainly are. They're saying my stowaway isn't a fake identity. No, you're not. You got invited here, fair and square. Through the customs. Sing so say I used to be a part of the Annihilation game. Nope, if you were, you probably wouldn't even be here right now. Right, Miss Camilla. What does the Annihilation game do? They destroy themselves. Never mind. You don't have to answer, as the name tells me it's nothing good. Dot, dot, dot. There's a comment claiming my hand was chopped off by a swordmaster from the Zhanzu, so I got my current prosthetic specifically to challenge fighters from the low foot. Don't think that's true. Did you lose it in an accident or something? Such jokes are not funny at all. I agree with you, bro. Luca, stop looking at these. It's not helping current state. Yeah, dude, that's a big thing. Is You can't just look at all the negative comments. People will spout whatever bullshit they want to make up. You just keep true to yourself and keep fighting. Miss Camilla's right. I understand. I know I should take everyone's comments lightly, but I can't pretend nothing happened. Some of my supporters briefly defended me, only to face backlash on that. Back in Bellerbog, I never realized that winning a match could hurt so many people. When we were all together at the arena, everyone indeed cheers for the winner. But outside of the arena, especially online, not everyone is happy for the win. True. Look at the recent Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul match. After all, being continuously successful can be seen as arrogance to some. But that doesn't mean everyone wants to see you fail, Mr. Luca. There are supporters for you. Online, unfriendly voices always seem particularly loud and harsh, overshadowing the support of us. Yep, the negative voices always seem loud. But I guarantee if you look through, there's just as many positive ones. They're just not as vocal. 
you know what I mean. They might not comment as much. Moreover, if you could redo today's match, would you choose to lose to Shoujin just to avoid these regular voices? Um, fuck no. I would never tend to lose to anyone for any reason. That's right. What you should do now is get your spirits up and win more matches for those who are still supporting you. She gives great advice. Miss Carmela, coach, I'm going to start training for today. Truly, Lucas Strongarm. Not only did you take on your opponent's punches, but you weathered this wave of public opinion too. Yeah, see, it's like, you're not gonna get rid of Topaz. She's gonna kinda get her way. And uh, I don't mind it. It's Miss Topaz, welcome. Great to have you here. Hi, hi Topaz. Hello, Miss Carmela, Coach and Luca. I came to check on how Luca is doing. Just checking in? Not just for that, I'm here to deliver an invitation to Luca for an event. An event invitation? Riding on the momentum of the war dance, IPC plans to hold a small product launch event here on the Sky Splitter. It would be an honor if Luca could attend. Do again, sponsorship? Maybe do it. Wink, smile. Wouldn't that just validate the online rumors? They've been smearing me as IPC's lapdog. My invitation could solve this headache for you. We've signed a new ambassador who will make an official appearance at this product launch. Ooh, I wonder if it's someone from your little six. Luca showing up the event, but not as the ambassador, will dispel basic spe baseless speculations, and soon the rumors will dissipate. By the way, I brought you a new combat prosthetic as a gift. That's quite a gift. I noticed some slight malfunctions in your iron arm during the last match. Probably wear and tear. No longer suitable for use, I presume. You refused to take IPC's money, which troubles me, so I had to bribe you with these little favors. You can't say no to Topaz. Don't bring up anything monetary. It's sensitive. Make sure you gear up and get ready for your next match. Take it, dude. Take it. It's getting late. I still need to prepare for the launch event. Farewell for now. Miss Topaz, wait. Why are you helping me solve these troubles? Your little pride is as cold and hard as a rock in the snow. Are you trying to figure out what plans I've got? No, not at all. Thank you, Miss Topaz. You know, I trust you. I don't think she's trying to brew up a conspiracy. I respect those who can't be bought. Or rather, everything related to Bellabog is under my project, and I have to consider its long-term interest. Pick whichever reason you want to convince yourself. See you tomorrow. It's probably both. The next day. Okay, now I really do need to go. Let's maybe do, I guess, a bit of a sign-off here. Um, thank you to anyone who was watching. If there's anyone in the chat right now, thank you. Any new followers? I don't think I really had any today. Any new viewers? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for chatting. It really helps more than you think. Um, let's see. I really do love this game and everything. I really do like streaming when I actually do it. I do need to sign off for the day. Let's see where I can maybe send you real quick. Do I have anyone who is online that we can raid here? I am getting a bit tired and I still need to run a couple errands before I even go to bed and stuff, so... And I actually stream for longer than I even thought I would. Let's maybe raid someone here. Who do we got? Who do we got? Um. Yeah, let's see. Joel Porcelain Maid. He's playing Borderlands 2. I think he's playing the DLC right now. This game I love. And I actually played through a little bit recently. Let's go raid Joel, I guess. He's on right now. He's a great guy. He's uh, trapped inside of an even sexier female doll. You'll know. I'm sure he'll do his intro and everything. Let's uh, let's give him a quick raid. All right. We sending anyone here over there? I'll be signing off for the night. Thank you so much to anyone who tuned in. I will be getting out of here.